hi to Chaco. Check. Is it check against Wolf? Oh, it's check against Wolf. Amazing start of the tournament. Check against Wolf. It's the best of... What is it? Best of one or best of three? Let me uh, look at the rules for a second here. See if it's the best of one, best of three or... Okay, it's the best of one. Quarterfinals and the semifinals are best of three. And the finals is best of five. That's a one. Wolf first check. Don't know how good Wolf is at all. I just know he's a caster, right? In a uh, different language, like Russian or... Or some other language. I don't know what language, but he's a caster. If he's a good player or not, we'll see. He's Night Elf. We have a Night Elf Mirror. Amazing. Amazing. I don't think it matters what matchup it is going to be, because I think it's going to be one-sided. But let's hope that Wolf is really good. Let's hope that we totally underestimate the Wolf here. That's actually going to win this game easy peasy. That's usually what Wolf does. Maybe. He's not a good player. Well. So far he's doing just fine. So far he's getting the Demon Hunter. He's getting the Archer. Uh, this is the wrong placement, isn't it? Is it? Maybe not. Maybe it depends. Maybe this is fine. I've seen some Angel Wars over here on this side. But as you can see on this side, he's also placing more on the left side rather rather than on the right side. So I guess it's just fine. Let's see if he does this, uh, this fine. Where's the Lightning Shield? There it is. But he did it wrong. You can only hit two units with the Lightning Shield. Not the third one. And look at what we have over here. This archer will get all the units with the lightning shield, but he was a bit later, I feel like. So actually, uh, check is behind. Even though his archer does... Well, we'll see. We'll see We'll see when they are done creeping here. He moves the archer back for a bit more damage on this one. Gets a manual, manual of health. Of course, he's gonna read that with the demon hunter. There it is. Beautiful uh, book. Over here, a circlet. That's very nice. Circlet here for the Demon Hunter. Hunter's Hall is coming up. Oh, wow, what? Hunter's Hall? Okay. And uh, Gauntlet, not that great. Check is uh, already out, also Gauntlet, but the Gloves of Haste. So, yeah, it does seem like Check was just a bit faster. Look at this. He's already creeping, he has more XP. I think he killed one more creep, or. Uh... Yeah. Why is he ahead? Why was he ahead in XP already? Anyway, he gets Slippers. Slippers is very good, of course. Wolf plays Warcraft rarely. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. The races, of course. Let me fix that. Oh. The town is under siege. A player's force is under uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna fix Wolf. Probably not. I don't know where Wolf is from. Oh, it does. Okay. Wolf is apparently from Ukraine. Oh, is it Russian? Is that the Russian flag? That's not the Russian flag. <laughs> I know what the Russian flag looks like. I'm not sure why. Uh, why it's, it has a Ukrainian flag? I mean, I get it from the Worker Three uh, info database. Demon Hunter can maybe cancel this move off. Where is, uh, let's see, check has level 2.35 Demon Hunter. This Demon Hunter is level 2.45. Wolverine is from Ukraine. Is it Wolver... Oh, okay. From Donetsk. Okay, okay. Well, everything is correct then. Uh, the archer hiding here, but there's the dust. The archer is dead. I didn't know Wolf stood for uh, Wolverine, by the way. I thought it was just an animal. But I guess the animal you ride with an F, right? <laughs> Wolf with an F. The de uh, demon hunter coming in. 
Auto vision here is almost done. What do we have here for check? He's getting Ace of Wonders. Even under going for the Moonwall. Moonwall will be cancelled. He will only have two Moonwalls. What is he doing here? Why is he getting Huntresses? I don't understand. Instead of archers, archers are just better. Oh, maybe Demon Hunter can go down. Some lucky hits, maybe. Some max damage hits. No, Demon Hunter does survive here. Easy peasy. Uh, Donetsk Don has their own flag at the moment. Really? But I, well, I don't know what it is. Is that like part of the Ukraine? A player's forces are under attack. Unfortunately, if he's uh, in the database as Ukraine, I cannot uh, give him his own flag unless he uh, unless to change the information in on uh, worker3.info to Donetsk. The demon hunter here kills a wisp. The more wisps, this wisp survives. Keeper, keeper second. Wolf is doing some uh, interesting strategy. Inter a keeper, of course, is. Normal for for Glutes of the Claw. Is he going Glutes of the Claw? Well, he does have a Hunter's Hole. I guess it's not that strange. There's a Mana Burn and a Mana Burn. But I was expecting maybe, because of the Hunter's is a bit more aggressive uh, strategy with like uh, uh, a Naga. Demon Hunter, by the way, his staff is still on cooldown. But he will probably be able to just walk around for ages and then the staff out in the end. Doesn't I don't think he will need to use a TP. Meanwhile, his archers are just standing in the middle. Oh, he's going hippo riders, hippo riders for Jack. <laughs> oh, but now with the keeper, he will have, be forced to TP because Entangle can always, uh, or yeah, Entangle, Entangle, yeah, can always cancel that stuff. Beautiful block here by the keeper. Do we see a mana burn on the keeper? No, he doesn't have mana for mana burn because he got mana burn himself. And they're in TP. Uh, Demon made his li liquipedia page, so I think we can trust that Ukrainian flag. It's part of Ukraine which doesn't want to be part of Ukraine. Oh, is that what was going on in Ukraine? I don't really follow the news. I don't. I only know that uh, an airplane was shot down in Ukraine, which was flying from Holland to uh, Malaysia. Yeah, and here we see the Demon Hunter again for even more harassment. Can he cancel this Ancient Wonders? Oh, it does go down. He didn't even cancel. He just, it just got destroyed. There's another Entangle. Uh, this Demon Hunter... Oh, stops out! He's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna be in time. And I'm not sure if he's scouted this, but we do have uh, some Hippo Riders. Yay! Hippo Riders are so cute. Trying to kill some uh, some wisps. Going for this Ancient of Lore. The other two can go for the Ancient of Wonders from the other side. He has the micro. If Jack has the micro for it, I think he has. Look at them. Flying over. Uh, they can kill the wisps over there as well. But maybe first the shop. They're first going for the shop. This Ancient of Lore does go up. They don't do enough damage here. This drive in trouble. The Triad is being attacked by three Hippogriff Riders. There, they did cancel. I think they cancelled or either killed the Angel of uh, Wonders. Kill Wisp as well. What else is he building here? More Hippogriff Riders. This is such a brilliant strategy here by his check. He knew exactly that Wolf was weak against the Hippogriff Riders. And now the Demon Hunter can come in from this side, cancel the Angel of Wonders. But well, the Hippos are here in the back, killing everything else. It's a bit risky though. Because of Ensnare, uh, Entangle, and Entangle, yeah, Entangle. Five Hippogriff Riders, they have a very high range, 600. There's two more, just flying over, there's just one Archer here. Just one Archer and one Dryad. Oh, the shop, the shop, if the shop goes up, the orb is gonna be so bad. If the Demon Hunter would've cancelled this, Check would've won for sure. Now Check is just gonna win, but not for sure, he just... No, very likely that he's going to win. 
like 99.9%, but he could have uh, made it 100%. Now this archer and this keeper killing whatever. Well, they can't kill whatever because these these guys have a lot of hit points. 765, a lot of hit points and a lot of range. That's what hippo riders have. No DPS though. No magical powers. Just hit points and uh, and range. Makes them pretty good at uh, sniping wisps and, and archers and well not archers but triads and huntresses from the side. The trees on top of the trees. Gets a, gets a sapper, kills the angel of lore. That's Moonwall. Wolf. I mean, he does have the orb. There's the orb, what I was talking about. With the orb, suddenly these hippos are nothing. Suddenly, going to lose. Yeah, he's going to lose. Maybe. He kills another dryad, he kills the Moonwall. Look how low hit points this uh, hippo griff rider is. Oh, for the Angel of Lord is uprooted, it will go down. And still, not a single uh, hippo griff rider has been killed. Hunter walking around. Dark Weaver. Blood Wrath. He's going for these wisps. Oh, these wisps need to be moved here. Oh, lucky. Lucky didn't go for them. Oh, he has another shop in case the other one got killed. Or did he get a second orb? He did get a second orb. That's brilliant. Wolf is brilliant here. Getting both sh two shops up so he can buy two orbs is perfect against these hip wave riders. I wouldn't have thought of a, a better strategy. Don't think there's anything better he could have done. Demon Hunter walking around on the map. Has to be so painful. I, I, yeah. But, but the game's not over yet. Because he, uh, he's getting the Moonwall upgrade. Look at them. 425 hit points per, uh, mana points per Moonwall. And there are two drives and Demon Hunter going against the Demon Hunter. This Demon Hunter does stand a chance. He doesn't even have an orb. He stops out because and 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 Entangle? No, yeah. Entangle is still on cooldown. The Hippo is doing something over here. Doesn't get any upgrades, by the way, for the Hippos because he doesn't have a Hunter's Hole. He doesn't need a Hunter's Hole. Uh, this one Hippo taking some damage, but he will survive. Yeah, no Hunter's Hole. He has triple Ace of War for protection, of course. Actually, the expand he could, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He could, but he doesn't. Another dryad going down. Instead of dryads, he needs uh, bears. Building APAP. Another APAP. The providers they do find this shop. 450 hit points is not a lot of hit points. Demon Hunter will help kill the shop. Look at him. He's fighting back. Fighting back against the Demon Hunter. Not something you uh, want to do. Instead, you should just run and hide. Okay, the Demon Hunter gets ensnared again. But he does, there's cooldown on the staff. You will have to buy an item to save himself. Uh, unless he can just win the fight. But that doesn't look like it. Against two orbs. He, he takes so much damage. Look at him taking so much damage. Oh, he didn't buy an item. He's just going to die. Maybe, uh, yeah, Demon Hunter for check is going to die. He does kill all the APAPs. Oh, two hit points, three. Okay, there he goes. That's nice. Nice. That's are useless, yeah. Hippos. Hippos should be the counter. The problem with hippos is you need a lot of hippos. Because he can always unmount, and even if you have a uh, few hippos, he can just outmicro you. Yeah, the demon hunter can kill these heroes. Can uh, definitely kill these hippos by, by themselves, no problem. Oh fuck! Of course, double fury arena. They make sounds. Hey, was it the sapper? It was a sapper. Saw it, of course, with the hidden archer. Yeah, there was a sapper. Oh, he needs the bears to kill the elf base. Yeah, I think bears is just the best thing to get. Just bears. It's kind of against we wyvern, right? It's the same same matchup as against wyvern. It's wyvern. You just go bears and you let your demon hunter uh, kill the air units. And the bears kill everything on the ground. But he's going nothing. He's going uh, AP. 
Frontier's forces are under attack. Now a third hero with an orb would be fine as well. But uh, I don't know, he has 500 gold. Check has uh, 1k gold. Does he have a tree of life yet? He does have a hunter's hall. He's gonna get ultra -hall vision, which is of course very nice if you're harassing like this with these uh, hip providers. He will get a ball spring as well. It's nice. Uh, he is reviving his demon hunter. He doesn't play with uh, without demon hunter. The sheep, the sheep. Maybe it's a trader sheep. You want to kill it if you're in the air. It doesn't. Kills a wisp though. Almost. Almost killed that wisp. I think he killed another one though. This, uh, he doesn't get XP for the wisp because he doesn't have a hero out. Oh, what just happened there? I think he just built a building and it got killed or was it just a wisp dying there? I'm not sure. I was looking at chat. Another wisp down. How many? He has 62 lumber. He has no wisps. You know what he should have done? Since he has these APs, he should have probably uh, eaten these trees with a building. Although he doesn't have any buildings besides the shop maybe. And then put a wisp on the inside. You know, leave some trees up over here and eat all the trees in the back. So you can put your tree, your wisps in the trees, put your APs next to them. Your wisp will be safe. That's something you could have done. Sheep died? Oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> you don't see the body. But that's good. Check killing the sheep, of course. You never know if it's a traded sheep or a normal sheep. He's gonna creep now because he killed all the wisps. Uh, he's getting gla glaive upgrade. Also getting an attack upgrade here. Is he going through tier 3? Is he already at tier 3? He's already at tier 3. I think he already got the archer upgrade. He do 20 to 24 damage with one attack upgrade. Um, uh, he, he, does, does he have the upgrade? I think so, right? The plus 3 damage, the markmanship. Pretty sure he has that upgrade. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, the, let's uh, compare. It's not like with one upgrade you go from uh, 16 to 18 to 20 to 24. So he must have the upgrade plus three damage on his hippos uh, and on his archers. Oh, this angel war does go down. Oh, it got cancelled. Going for the move all. Maybe if he had like 50 spot bears, he could do a counter attack here and it would be very difficult here to defend for Czech. Czech would have to uh, go into Dudes of the Talon. He has plenty of gold. Could have gone into Dudes of the Talon, but he doesn't have bears. He doesn't have anything besides heroes. Oh, he gets a kill. Is it the first kill of the day? I think so. Did he, Did he kill anything uh, be before that? I don't remember. Does unsync timers and talk about the triggering my OCD so much? A player's forces what? Are under attack. Oh! <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I can put an overlay over the observer board. I can uh, move my own timer. There's a nice cancel on the APAP. <laughs> AP don't help. Well, another drive goes down. Oh, he kills the second hippo there. Two hippo kills already. Maybe we have a comeback here for a wolf. Maybe I did it on purpose. It's different. Uh, these two timers unsynced. Fingering uh, all my viewers' OCDs. That's how you remember my stream. Then later you're like, uh, after my stream is done, you remember like, oh, the chocolate stream was today with the with the timers. That was so annoying. Then you will, you know, you my stream will be just etched into your mind, the rest of your life. You will remember. You will come back. You will come back. Because next time you hope it's fixed. But it will still be there. It will still be uh, unsynced. It will keep coming back. Until I fix it. But I'll never fix it. 
Never. Where are you from, Chaco? I'm from the Netherlands. We have a lot of uh, glaive throwers here, by the way. 2 zero upgrades. Player sports are under attack. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's what we have. Check at 66 supply, 24 here for a wolf. Also, we have a priestess with the orb. That means he's probably gonna go all second if he gets level two. Oh, the demon hunter found a glaive thrower and he saves it with the zeppelin. Mana burn, mana burn. 150, 100. Those are some pretty good mana burns. This is gonna be difficult for wolf. Against these glaive throwers, he has the hippos. There goes one building. Glaive throwers do uh, a lot of damage. Two attack upgrades and a plus six damage. All the heroes have orbs for both players, in fact. Oh, here come the APAPs. One dies, the other two, the, the next one sits down. Don't even know if he wants to sit them down, but I guess you cannot throw stones if he's uh, not sitting down. The archers here on the hippos trying to kill the demon hunter. They don't actually kill him, but uh, AP, APs are all down. 70 supply against 20. It's still an even fight here, though, because uh, the keeper is dead and the demon hunter is dead as well. So, And there we have a level 6 demon hunter. GG. There! There, we're done with the audio cast. Now we're having a game. <laughs> I was just testing you guys, see if you're actually watching my stream or if you're just listening to the audio. Uh, Blade Master going for a kill to have a Fire Lord. Fire Lord is dead. Is he gonna get uh, another one? Well, probably pretty uh, fast there. Meow! And uh, two lava spawn did go down. But the towers are uh, up. I heard a meow. It's probably someone uh, donating to tell me that uh, the game wasn't up. Show us the game, please. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Notron. <laughs> thanks for the donation. We have two footmen here in the back and arcane bullet. Uh, when is the fire lord coming back? Well, he's almost back. More footmen out here as well. I built a barracks here in the back. A tower coming up here. I'm not sure. Uh, these towers. I wonder if he can build a tower here. Out. Oh, sorry, uh, F7. F7. Tower over here. If that's in range of the burrows, he does need to cancel this tower. It should be not that difficult, but the demolishers as well. Two demolishers. He needs to kill those as well. The fire lord is uh, over here. Uh, and the footman now going to cancel this tower. He's, he might lose one or two or a, a few. Does he have defend? Does he have defend? I don't see any defend. I'm sure if he has defend. Can he get the tower? This tower, he needs to kill this tower, man. It's so important. This tower is in range of these towers. He does get the tower. And, uh... Great. Could TGW see the tower at the back of the orb mine? Like over here? Yeah, that's possible as well. Uh, but I would have liked this position if uh, if it's out of range of the burrows. I'm not sure if you can build towers here. The back of the base is always a bit risky. Sometimes I see uh, games where they do that and they lose the game immediately. Because they lose a fire door or something. Sometimes they win in immediately though. If you get your towers up, you win, right? That's that's it. It's a bit more all in. It's a bit harder to get your towers up, to not lose your fire lord, to not lose uh, your lava spawns. But if you get your towers up, you always win. Lava spawn there it goes down. These uh, we have three, three demolishers now, and they do so much damage. They kill the tower. The next tower is uh, going down as well. The blade master level two. And he's gonna kill these uh, footmen. I don't know. I don't know if he has enough footmen to kill this uh, these demolishers. Where's the? Uh, where went the lava spawn? I don't know where it is. This demolisher he does get one of them apparently. Only repairing with two peons. Or he has three peons repairing this demolisher. Meanwhile, his main is still taking damage. By the way, quite a lot of damage. He probably needs to repair it soon as well. He has plenty of, of lumber. Uh, Grunt goes down to the... Oh, we do see defend, by the way. Uh, Grunt went down to the, uh, the footman. And even the militia are going for the... Okay, no, no longer militia. There, there's peasants right now. More peons repairing this tower. He's using a regeneration scroll here in a moment. But these the demolishers. 
They will cancel a little bit. Oh, and the, the thing goes down. That's GG, right? That's GG. Yeah, but if you if you must see the orc one burrow attack, he was uh, he was not doing a one burrow attack. He had two burrows already up. He went for a two burrow attack before uh, before he even saw the fire lord towers. Happy Lucy, please starts in a while. Okay, well this game is over. Let's see what you guys were saying when I was uh, not showing you guys the game. Let's see, Blade Master going for more uh, militia kills. I mean, what is TG? Is TGW. Does he think he still has a chance? He's 7 splied behind. He's still at tier 1. Oh, he's, he's taking. Taking to tier 2. This one peasant dying here. The Blade Master almost level 4. There's no no way for him to come back. There's absolutely nothing he can do. Like, what's he gonna do? Like, hope that the Blade Master never gets a crit again in this game. That's one thing, right? That's one thing. Hope that the. Uh, Hate Spark, the Fire Lord, does 28 damage every attack. That's another thing. And even if the, all those those things are true, even if that's gonna happen, <laughs> I still don't think he's going to win. We have Demolishers attacking the farm. Two Demolishers. Farm is going down slowly. We haven't seen a crit yet. Maybe I was right. Maybe we don't see any crits. Maybe he did a 28 damage every attack. I don't. Oh no, there's a crit. And there's a lava spawn. Uh, three demolishers though against militia. Who wins that? Oh, the militia are still militia for a few more minutes. He doing now? Oh, I hope they, I hope he leaves the game. I hope TGW leaves the game. I don't want to miss Lucifer's happy. Come on, come on, TGW. Come on. Yeah, well, can he get a demolisher? No. Not with the peons. Oh, Lucy, are you okay still? Okay. And that mirror is so boring. But it's... It's... It's Lucy. Against Happy. And uh, he does kill one demolisher. He's killing the second one as well. That's very nice. There, the footman is dead. There, the footman is dead. There, the lava spawn is dead. Did the blade master do something in the meantime? He can kill everything over here. He's level four. He's killing peasants now. He's not being my code, I think. Should just uh, move him over there and hold position. Even all the militia together, they cannot win against the blade master. Well, actually, the the fire lord is coming back home. Do we have boots? We don't have boots on the blade master. TGW. Oh. uh... I mean, Great Wall. We all know that the Great Wall is Chinese. That's probably why you put Chinese in this profile. I thought I thought he was like a Russian, maybe? Was he Russian or European? Archmage is dead. That uh, the radio goes down as well. Now the Fire Lord, he's going down as well. Shadowhunter speed goes out of there. He's safe. And there we have a beautiful attack of that demolisher. And this demolisher is gonna win the game by himself with the help of the Blade Master, of course, and the Shadow Hunter and the Grunt. But I still want to give all. Hey, what? Why is he slowed? That's there sorceress. Oh, there's a sorceress. Maybe the sorceress can defend by herself. The demolisher going for the altar though. TGW is Russian. Well, they don't have uh, the Great Wall in Russia, right? They only have one in China and one in uh, between Mexico and the uh, USA. There, the Archmage went down. Shadowhunter throwing some attacks on uh, Altar. Look at this Demolisher. It's a dead Demolisher. Soon. Five hit points. Dead. Let's look at the grid while I'm uh, at it. Yeah, happy first lose for it's gonna be a best of three by the way 
Mr. Uh, Imperius vs. Foggy, also best of three. Blade versus the winner of this is Orc Worker. Blade versus Orc Worker, also best of three. And check versus Focus. Actually, all of those are pretty good. Uh, I'm not even sure if Lucifer is happy is the best game there, right? Isn't just like aren't just uh, those other games better since they are not mirrors? I think so. So yeah, I'm, 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 I don't even mind if I miss the Lucifer first happy game. Uh, great wall between us and Mexico. Oh, let's go, man. Maybe he has a great wall inside his pants. Great. Pillar, I think. Game name for Imperius. Uh, this started already. Hey, there it is. GG. No, sir. It's not so dangerous. Yeah, I, I heard it became a lot more safer than it was uh, a long time ago. I heard like in the last like 10 to 20 years that it has become relatively safe. Relatively safe. Um, and what about the internet? Is the internet good enough to stream? From uh, Colombia. It's the same country, it's the same as everywhere else, really. But you also have that mind control drug, right? That, that turns people into zombies. It's just so scary. Just the image being blown out of proportion by Boomfy and media. Okay, well. Definitely want to go there. It's definitely. Um, you know, Colombia and Mexico at the moment are like. The number one and number two. I don't know in what's order, but they're they're the places I want to go the most. I even started learning a bit of Spanish, Spanish, but I uh, didn't have didn't want to spend too much time on it because I have different priorities at the moment, like streaming. So I stopped it for a moment. Uh, where is the barracks, by the way? They no barracks. I've seen this before, but what's too much narcos? I don't even know what that is. You have uh, 50 MBS up or down? And the Coke Baron. Drugs are cheap, girls are beautiful, country's beautiful. Okay, okay. I'll be there, Serenity. I'll call, I'll, you'll see me there maybe uh, once my stream earns me enough money so I can live somewhere. What's your record on Slither? Uh, I think it's like 30 or 35,000 somewhere in that area. Come to Car Cartagena and you can stay at my place. Okay. Let's just stream from uh, Serenity's house. Anyway, let's focus on this game here. Uh, first, I'll need to add it the overlay. It's a best of three. Best of three. There. Come on, update. There it is. Org worker first blade, their, their uh, flags are correct, everything correct. Archmage creeping over here. If you can grow your own plants and nobody to harass you because of that, it's safe for me. Guys, 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 I might be Dutch, but I don't actually grow any uh, cannabis or any other plants. I believe it's illegal actually. It's illegal in Holland to grow your own plants. Uh, you know, it's legal to buy it, but it's illegal to grow it. The water elemental here in the in the top. Just moving around. No. Fate Master trying to kill it. Yeah, does he get the XP? No, he doesn't. The Archmage killed it. And Flame for Caster. So Solar Archmage, does he have Footman yet? Yes, he does. He did go for late barracks. So he does get some Footman. He's just harassing. Did he get the Murloc? Uh, no, the Blade Master got the Murloc. He will get this other Murloc as well. Yeah, he did get it. Samuro, by the way. Samuro, the Blade Master, against 10 Flame Casters. I'm gonna get a nice item over here. He bought the circlet earlier. You can have five plants per person in Amsterdam? Okay, okay. I didn't know that. But you hear sometimes of people having, like, uh, illegally growing their... <laughs> like, uh, growing their plants, like... Oh, in a in an attic or in somewhere in their house hiding like their electricity bills and all this stuff five people smoking weed 
I despise pe people drinking alcohol. I despise people drinking coffee. <laughs> Even though I drink it myself. Actually, I stopped drinking it. As you guys know, I, I take the caffeine pills. Ex anyway, the Blade Master, maybe you can get the. Oh no, the Archmage has boost of speed. Micros, uh, oh, this grunt, this grunt might be in danger. The Archmage he does not find the grunt. Did he see it? I'm not sure. Maybe he didn't see it. No, he was looking over here for that grunt. If he would have found that grunt, that grunt would have died to the boots. He used the dust, but doesn't even dust the Blade Master. Blade Master is going to buy something over here. Now he's going for the creep. Archmage sees it, of course. He's not blind. What do you think? It's not a demon hunter. Archmage can see. He has the eyes. Uh, Archmage is focusing the Blade Master. He's taking damage from this uh, ogre over here. Does he have another dust? He does, but the cooldown, the cooldown, the cooldown, the cooldown. He can use it now. And there the Blade Master going for this ogre. Is he going to get a nice item or a shitty item? Info Potion and Storm Bolt. He will have to use the Info Potion or he is going to die. He used the Info Potion. Did get, of course. It's still worth it. He got the level 5 ogre, the XP. Sure, the item was uh, wasted. But the, and he also stole the item away here for the human of Blade. So Blade, he did a very fast stack. His Arcane Sanctum's already up. His Mother King already out. He's getting tier 2 units already. He's not that far ahead, I guess. What are these militia doing? I despise people. Okay, you win, Hardcrane. You you despise the most people. Chaco, can you post links on this channel? Is a picture of my city? Uh, sure. Uh, at the moment, I still haven't blocked the links. Eventually, if I become a even bigger streamer than I'm right now. <laughs> Already quite big, I must say. Uh, if I go even bigger, I will start blocking links. But so far, I haven't had too much trouble yet. Too much problems yet with. Uh, get wasted from alcohol like every six months, and it's enough for me to be sober for another six months. I I stop drinking alcohol altogether. It's uh, doesn't do me any good. Personally, I just uh, I just like life the most when I'm when I don't have any drugs in my body, when I can think straight, when I when I have energy. Just when I'm right now, just right now. That's why uh, caffeine is the only drug I take because it it makes me more alert when I'm tired. Instead of uh, drugs that do the opposite, like alcohol, it just makes me super tired. Weed, I've never smoked smoked it, but you know, from what I've seen from of other people, what I've heard, it does, it's not really a type of drug I would try. Arcmage here, plus 18 damage. Oh, beautiful Stormbolt here on this Peon. Peon is going to die. What do you have? 48 against 44 supply. Some sort of water elemental, level to water elemental. This Arcmage. It all depends on this Archmage. How much attacks... The Shadow Hunter is still level 2. Wait, why is the Shadow Hunter still level 2? He's behind in XP, isn't he? Oh, there's a Book of the Dead. In the main base of the uh, human. Didn't even know he had the Book of the Dead. I'm sure you guys saw it earlier and you were like, Oh my god, he has the Book of the Dead. I'm like not paying attention. Uh, these, uh, are these, these are summons, yeah. Okay, well, do we have uh, a bunch of dead peasants? Meanwhile, we have a bunch of dead peons over here and dead burrows. All the burrows are going down. He's, he's, he's sending grunts over, not peons. Uh, does look like actually uh, Blade is doing more damage here than uh, Worker is. Is that true? Well, the peons, let's see, he killed all the burrows. The peons are now dying. He should s save his militia, his peasants. He should have hit them somewhere where they can be killed by the Blade Master. But anyway, there's a TP home. The Zeppelin. Okay, what do we have? 36 against 37. Where's the Mount King? Good question. Where's the Mount? Oh my god! He TP'd only with half his army. Well, he cannot fight anyway because he's in the back of his base. Well, he can fight fire fireballs and all these other uh, things. Maybe he did it on purpose so that the Mount King is outside of his main base. But level 3 Mount King is much better than level 2 Shadow Hunter, even though the Shadow Hunter has a greater mana potion. If he can get a level 3 Shadow Hunter, it's gonna be a worker winning this game. If he can't get a level 3 Shadow Hunter, 
even if he kills the town hall. That doesn't even matter. This town hall is irrelevant. I don't understand why Orc Worker is going for the town hall. I mean, well, not completely irrelevant, but it's uh, not a good choice, I think. Anyway, we have uh, one spellbreaker going down. This spellbreaker over here is being attacked by two grunts. Archmage is throwing some more fireballs. This spellbreaker here is dying as well. Where are those storm bolts? Oh, the Mountain King doesn't have mana. There's level 3 Shadow Hunter. Is he far enough behind to lose the game or can he still win the game there with the uh, level 2 healing waves? There's a healing wave. There's another stack here on Spellbreaker. He's trying to kill it with the Blade Master. There, 153 critical strike. It's gonna kill him, maybe. Meanwhile, another militia died here. Spirit Walkers are killing the militia. These, uh, this one peasant goes, continues mining there. Does look like Org. Well, no, no more storm bolts. No more storm bolts. The Mountain King is going to die. This is gonna be uh, GG. Orc Worker is going to win this. Level 3 Shadow Hunter, which is too strong with the level 2 healing wave. Uh, Orc Worker only mining with two gold peons as well. Alcohol is the devil. Weed is gone. White coffee, what is that? One gram of white coffee is like. I, I have never heard of white coffee, only like black coffee. And coffee is just, it tastes so good. That's why I uh, became addicted earlier to coffee, because I drank it so much because it tastes so good. But then I get headaches all the time, so I had to stop. White coffee is DMT. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Archmage has a cloak of shadows. So let's see. They're both mining gold again with five peasants, with five peons. I uh, don't think any is mining lumber. Work worker is getting one peon to mine the lumber. Uh, over here we have. Uh, not a single peasant mining lumber. The Mountain King, he has enough gold to resummon the Mountain King. 29 for 28. It's still not over, I guess. Uh, the Blade Master, though. Oh, the Blade Master is going to kill some more peasants. There's nothing he can do about it. Besides, uh, call militia and run them away. Wait for the Archmage to come back. Pick up the Tome of Agility. No. Killed one. Run, my little peasants. Run. Does he have invis? Does not have invis. He does have slow. He can slow this uh, zeppelin maybe. Kill it. If he can kill it, no. The water metal is too far away in the back. 107 hit points. In uh, Shadow Hunter. Cast happy first Lucy man. Nah man. Not too many people want to watch that. And we see uh, we see it so often. Lucy first happy. It's on that mirror. I mean, it was. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind casting it, but I feel like uh, these games are better. Maybe you should know. Maybe you don't know. Colombia is famous for its drug trafficking and cocaine production. Well, I, I knew it was famous for some drugs. I knew it was famous for cocaine, and uh, I know the zombie drug. Turns people into zombies, into brain in brain dead people, or they do whatever you tell them to. A player's forces are under attack. Uh, healing wards is not bad, I guess. Where's the Mount King? Oh, there he is. I love four blade match. Love four shadow hunter. I will. I will probably cast a winner of Happy First Lucifer later. If you like on that, that is. Maybe first foggy. A player's forces are under attack. That zombie drug is not here. No, it's only in Colombia, but I guess it's not. I guess it's not. Uh, I guess it's not relevant then. If you don't know much about it, if you don't, if you don't. I've never heard about uh, heard about being used. Are under attack. 
Maybe check first focus is better than this one. I decided to go for this one because we see uh, we see these players play a little bit less. I feel also they're a bit more even. Although check first focus, I feel that's very focus favored. Although, however, last time check won against focus. So that uh, I was uh, considering watching that matchup as well. Anyway, we have uh, Sobi Mask here and Endurance Aura on the Shadow Hunter. And we have Category Sprite. Very good items here for Org, man. This is insane. The two best Auras and a Sobi Mask. Are you kidding me? How much more or luck does Org Worker need? Org Mace, however, almost level 5. There's a Stormbolt. Can he kill this guy and get level 5? He definitely can. Did he ever retrain? Not that the I don't think so because he has three claws of attack. There's a water metal. Can we still have a do we still have a chance here for blade against these items for Orc Worker? Against those items. Infinite mana on the Shadow Hunter. Doesn't even need a mana potion. TP's out, loses uh two casters there in the back. Shadow Hunter, if he gets level five. Game is GG man. It's already GG. Infinite mana, infinite movement speed, infinite attack speed. It's just so amazing. AM should go for Blizzard, but the thing is, if AM goes for Blizzard, then these claws of attack become completely useless. Gives them to the Mount King, maybe. Oh, what did he just kill? He killed something. What's that? Oh, there was a Zeppelin, of course. It took me uh, a second or two to realize what sound it was. There's an Astaire on this Sorceress. Let's go for the Water Metal. We have uh, 48 against 47. The sorceress, she's dead, man. She died to the creeps, I believe. Not, no XP given. Meanwhile, Foggy already 2-0 Imperius. Okay. You see, we picked a better game than those other games. These are all one-sided. Foggy first Imperius. Lucy first Happy. Okay, there, he's going for the, the Archmage and Snare. But the Archmage dodged it with an invisible timing. This priest here is dead. Uh, I don't think uh, Blade can kill anything. Blade. Like this this healing wave, man, is so strong. Infinite heal. There's some more uh, dispels to, on the water elementals. There's another healing wave. This grunt here. Oh, maybe can kill a grunt. But the water elementals attacking this grunt. This grunt is still alive. This grunt is also alive. The Mountain King is not alive. He's dead. Uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. The Mountain King is dead. That's GG. Give GG out, please. Finals will be focused for Happy anyways. Exactly, so we don't need to watch Happy for focus until the finals. Wait, is he still in the game? Does he uh, still think he can win? He seems another water elemental. He's on the sixth supply behind the... Um, He's gonna take the Blade Master. Blade Master out of mana. Shadow Hunter has infinite mana, so he's not out of mana. This uh this this guy almost dying, but he gets Michael back. How much more healing waves do we have? At least one more. And then very soon one more. And there it is, GG. Uh is he going for late barracks again? He's going for the old early altar again. Which makes sense, because everyone always goes for old early altar. Except sometimes in that. Or if you go uh tavern, of course, you don't go early altar. Tavern hero. The barracks is being built over here. On this hill. Isn't this amazing how like they made it so it even looks good on uh, on top of the hill. Half of the building is inside of the hill. Right, or half. Uh, one eighth of the building is inside of the hill. But it still looks good, you know. Still beautiful. Warcraft, man. Such good game. Graphics. Beautiful. Just... This is better than any of the newest games that are coming on, out right now. Some people think like, for example, what's a game with good graphics nowadays? New game. Like, uh... Like the new Zelda game, for example. Where you can look very far in the behind, it's so beautiful. Well, that's what we can do in Warcraft 3 as well. We can see far in the horizon. We see the gold mine in the back. We see the... Barracks, you see this this game just looks even better than uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Even have this golden thing here, this golden guy on top of the altar. Just stand there with a sword. Go fight when he have to when he has to. 
They're just substituting the hill as its foundation. Yeah. Okay. Well, is the Archimedes coming out there? The Archimedes is out there. Look at him. And this footman is out scouting over here. The Blade Master is going to kill this ogre. Uh, shop is being built here by Orc Workers. Footman scouts everything. He's going for this creep first. That's that's uh, that's an interesting creep to creep. But that's what he's creeping. And he's going to kill these little kobolds. Very nice, very nice. Blade Master gets a circuit. Pretty nice as well. Pretty nice against human. World of 3 has so nice art style that it could pass even today's indie games to graphic standards. Yeah, it does look uh, pretty well, right? I wonder how World of 3 remastered. What are they gonna do even? Like, they, you cannot make the graphics look any better because they already look so good. Just all those uh, suggestions I have, like, uh, like the items, you know, like seeing the heroes carry the items, that would be amazing. Uh, circlet here for the Archmans as well. Pretty good. Blade Master got a greater potion of healing. Pretty good. Two more burrows. I do uh, see an expansion, by the way. What the fuck am I talking about? What am I paying attention to? Not to this expansion. We have an expansion here. Uh, interesting. I guess Orc. It is interesting on Echo Isles. You see it sometimes, but. Well, how often it's gonna work? Blade Master is going for it, but he's uh, well, he has a great potion of healing. Mikasa with Mikasa, Mikasa going for this town hall. Uh, maybe the grunt will die though, but this town hall will definitely be cancelled. Also, the great healing potion was used there, he does cancel it, did cancel it. Uh, the grunt is gonna survive 180 hit points. Imagine Blade Master bringing six claws, yeah. Could attach them to his sword, I guess. Oh, he was about to attack a peon, but decided not to. Warbur Theory Master confirmed now, not yet. Not yet. There goes that foot ban. Archmage just throwing some fireballs to your on the Blade Master. Attack of the Titans. Took his name from Warcraft 3. Oh that's that's how. That's why. Mikasa. Mikasa. We was gonna buy their boots. The Archmaster, of course. Blade Master never buys boots. Uh, no. Blade Master bought the boots. Blade Master, by the way, does buy boots in this matchup. This is the only matchup where you always see the boots. Not always. Where I always want to see the boots. There, he uses uh, healing self. But it's different when you're playing against expansion, though. Might not want the boots against expansion. That's 250 gold. Expansion is going up here for a blade. No dust? Yeah, no one bought dust. It's, uh, this grunt got hit. I mean, he doesn't really need dust because the Blade Master has the boots, the Archmage does it. Cannot hunt down the uh, Blade Master. Of course, he needs it if he starts creeping, but when is Blade. When is uh, Orc Worker gonna let him creep? They've got staff. Well, apparently there's no danger from the Blade Master from Mikasa! Mikasa's still level 1. Tier 2 is coming up. Can he cancel that? No, he can't because his expansion is too vulnerable. He's trying to get an Arcane Tower up. He starts creeping. But here comes Mikasa with her grunt allies. This uh, footman being my code a little bit. Uh, Blade Master being focused. He used the dust that he just bought. Blade Master is level 2. Kills one footman. A nice kill on the footman. Piggy over here, just sitting, just uh, could have blocked the ogre if he uh, micro himself with the piggy. Zerger goes down, level two and a half Archmage, level two Mikasa. He's going for the Archmage. Archmage can buy boots by now if he wants to. The, uh, I mean, he does have the money for it. It's so a he can't let the uh, Blade Master get it. He's baiting the Blade Master with his uh, Water Elemental. Go and get it. 42 XP. Mikasa wants it. Mikasa wants it, the Water Elemental. 
Shakazan, level one still, almost level two. Mikasa, uh, not Mikasa, Andrew Map did buy nothing. No boots, no boots. Meanwhile, these peasants, they're mining the gold. And now uh, Arcane Vault is being built here. Meanwhile, Lumber Mill going up as well. So you can get guard towers and he can get more lumber. And he's going for the, the burrows, but is he gonna be too late? Because he might have to TP home here to his expansion. There's not enough towers, just one like arcane tower, the shadow under the grunts, they're just walking past. You know, they don't care about this expansion. They expected the uh, creep jack, I guess. He's creeping over here, but he will have to TP home. Because he cannot defend this with just the arcane tower. And then she Oh the piggy block! Beautiful piggy block there. Uh, actually I'm not sure if a grunt would fit through anyway. Great match going for this uh peasant. Peasants are safe here. Here in the back. They're all moving here to the safe area. No blade master, no radio, no glint can ever uh, get. It's too fat. Kassa needs to go on a diet. Kassa has been eating too many cakes. You know, the Archmage is going for the burrow. But then they don't have defend. Shadowhunter is buying uh, TP. Okay, TP. He does get the tower, but the, look at the peasants. They're going walking through this secret alley where the grunts and the raiders and the blade masters cannot walk through. Uh, another burrow is going down by the way. We have an expansion coming up as well. The shadow under tipping out with only half his units while the other half are killing the peons. Um, well, if he's home, can he kill some of these grunts? Nah, no way. If he had a mud golem, maybe. Slow. Building triple arcane sanctum and he's getting a mountain king. We have uh, Blade has a supply advantage. Oh, he gets one grunt this time. That's beautiful micro there by Blade that's around. He's getting uh, his. He has supply lead, he has gold lead. It's actually looking not bad for the plate. But he's not gonna win this fight. Not against this level 2 uh, Shadow Hunter. Well, maybe the, if the Mountain King is here fast. Mountain King, we need you. The frog's around. The frog surrounded. Oh, wait, that's a hex frog. Never mind. <laughs> it's a hex frog. It's not a frog, it's a footman. Damn you. Shadow Hunter always. Uh, Bamboozling me. I thought it was a real fuck. Oh, the Mountain King! That was on purpose, wasn't it? But the dust was too late. Should have dusted earlier. Raccoon over here. That's a real raccoon. That's not a hexter raccoon. No tower up. But he doesn't need towers at this moment anymore. He needs these casters ASAP. Maybe send some footman to this expansion. But there's a sentry ward here though. And the sentry ward over here as well is going to kill this peasant. But the arcane vault will probably go up by with this peasant. Especially if he's not killing this peasant. He's going for the sanctum. Priest is defending the base by himself. Look at it. That is the, the holy light power there from the priest. It's just insane. There's a scroll of regeneration. We have three priests now. No sorceresses. It's getting three of them at the same time. Three sorceresses is, is a lot more than no sorceresses. And this footman are just taking the damage. What is this? Gloss of haste is alright. You know the blade match. Killing everything over here. Chop, chop, chop. Did you just buy the close of deck? I think so. I mean, four peons here on gold. He has uh, rebuilt most of his burrows. He's back to 50 with the, this burrow. He will go up to 60. He has grunts, he has spirit walkers, he has everything. But Blade has a 20 supply advantage. And he has level 4 and level 2. Here we have level 2 and level 2. Blade Master will be level 3. Mikasa will be level 3. Shadowhunter level 3 though, it's much more important. Mikasa should run! Run Mikasa, run! Right now! Level 3 Shadowhunter is so important. No, Org Worker, no! No, he's not gonna get level 3, is he? No, he will, he will. He will still get level 3. Okay, okay, that's fine then. That's fine. Level 3 Shadowhunter, he needs it. Because he's losing his... Sh he lost his shop. Oh my god, he lost his shop. Uh, he doesn't have healing self, he doesn't have clarity, he doesn't have mana potions doesn't have a shop even a level 3 shadow hunter won't be enough here level 3 shadow hunter 
I mean, he's strong, but he's not strong enough. Mount King is level 2, we have uh, level 2 billions. There goes the one foot band. This next foot band, look at the 144 kills of strike on the foot band. Uh, the red goes down, the peasants fighting against grunts and whatever. Uh, the Kodo, look how hungry he is. No, Michael, over there by Blade. Oh, well, that's fine. He's going for the Blade Master. And he killed the Blade Master. No, the Blade Master just winch walked out. No more mana left on the Shadow Hunter, so every orc unit is gonna die here in a few seconds. Look at that. Get start with that grunt. Now this grunt is going next to Kodo. And there it is, GG. So I got a hand injury, right? So if I play Warcraft 3, my fingers hurt a lot. Like it's RSI, which stands for uh, repetitive strain injury. And um, for a while they were, they were still hurting. But I realized recently that one of the reasons they are still uh, hurting a lot is because I've been working out uh, putting too much pressure on my fingers, so I started changing my uh, my work, uh, my exercises that I do when I work out. Put no pressure at all on my fingers, and I'm finally feeling uh, feeling them heal. So maybe at some point I can play some fun games where I don't need any APM, where I can play with like 30 APM. But on the other hand, I'm not sure how fun that is. I feel like just watching games is uh, more fun for both my viewers and for me. I mean, maybe some custom games like Uther Party or something. I, I enjoy. I could do that. But I get bored if I uh, like if I play like team games and everyone is a noob and I'm playing with 20 APM. It's just... It's not that exciting for me. I tried it once. I played I played one game of RT uh, random team four versus four. I remember that game was so boring. I was like, never again. That was the most boring game I played in my life. What were you first happy is about to start? Oh, I guess we'll miss some of that because we're gonna watch this the last game no matter what. Well played. What is that icon? Is it also uh, HSWP? Hearthstone? Hearthstone well played. Your fung finger will feel numb. No, it's actually, it's actually, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's like a lot of, uh, it would feel similar if you cut your finger, like a lot of small little cuts. That's how it feels like to me. Like you have a lot of little cuts in your finger. It's not, at first it doesn't hurt so much, it's just annoying, you know, like uh, how a little cut doesn't hurt, right? It's just, you can feel it, it's kind of annoying. Uh, if I keep going, it does uh, start hurting more and more. But I'm, I've been very careful with my fingers because uh, I don't want any permanent damage. Hello, Michael the, Michael the Boombringer, welcome back. Never play FFA. I played poker for a living, had a similar problem, was wrong, wrist position, and too much pressure on the elbow. So I don't have uh, any wrist injury actually because of my mouse. Like, I, nothing is happening. Oh, the Blade Master is here soon. Oh, but I can show you my mouse. I've got like a vertical mouse, which uh, makes it a bit harder to play. It's uh, I could never be as good with a vertical mouse as a normal mouse, but uh, at least I don't have any wrist injuries. Anyway, did the blade master get anything? Uh, don't think so. He kills a few peasant there. Killed two peasants actually already. And three three peasants. That's really nice here. Was blade going for an expansion again? I think so. He can I kill footman as well? Kills the footman. Three peasants and the footman. But grunt in the back here. He's in a dangerous position. He might lose his life. Blade master. There's no dust. There's no dust, so even uh, even though Blade Master is low, without dust... Oh, this peasant... Uh, well, the, the grunt does get away safely. And the Blade Master... Did he get XP there? I'm not sure if he did. It looked like the Archmage got it. And uh, the Archmage got the last one as well. Kajint retreating here. What do we have here? We have tier 1, so he's definitely going for the expansion. I mean, it worked last time. Might as well try it again. mouse I also have a normal mouse here on for my left hand sometimes I switch mice try exercises for golfer elbow
comes the blade master he's gonna kill this uh i kill this peasant no the peasant is safe peasant here okay the peasant survived he's going for the town hall can he get the town hall we have a lot of uh, pe uh, footmen here, but I don't think they can kill the Blade Master before the town. Well, maybe Blade Master going down faster than the tunnel. In fact, he will have to use the Windwalk, but the Grunts maybe can finish it off. If the Blade Master tries to finish it off, it's very risky. We don't have Boots on the Archmage. He has a TP, you know, no TP. The Blade Master is going to die here, I think, and that's going to be uh, and the Grunt as well. That was so bad there for a worker, not getting the town hall, losing the Blade Master and the and the Grunt. <laughs> Look at this. M M D A Y G. What does that stand for? Anyone knows what that stands for? My my dog. My my dog. What does A stand for? And that doesn't make sense. My dog. Don't want to. I don't want to be. Uh, don't want to say something that isn't can be heard by children. My dogs. And my dogs and. Something anyway. I already forgot the second two letters. The Archmage just going for the guns. You should learn to play with the left hand. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. I can explain later. But uh, the footman and the uh, Archmage and uh, the water metal just go for the Blade Master. Maybe can you get the Blade Master? Blade Master is uh, it's going to die again. He's going to oh he buys healing potion so he won't die again. But he almost died again. He would have died if he didn't have that healing potion. Just grunt in trouble. And he a uh, blade went for an expansion and he's still just just winning the fight here. This is how far he's ahead. My dogs and your goats. Oh, that's what it stands for. My dogs and your goats. That's what you say when you just lose your blade mass on the ground. My dogs and your goats. My dogs ass, you goon. I didn't want to talk about asses because like I tried to make this like a child friendly stream i guess there's not that many uh, young people that watch my stream anyway but still there goes that footman the blade master going for the uh the seal the arc mates nice around there on the uh on the blade master blade master is going to die he's dead he's dead there he's dead and this grunt the grunt maybe oh he kills the footman maybe the same problem with the grunt grunt gets away safely Yeah, we're all 30 year old creeps. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's probably true because Warcraft 3 is a pretty old game. And uh, and uh, probably most of the people that watch this are people that played it 10 years ago. Anyway, GG. Okay, so let's see. Okay, he built an early barracks. Let's see if he go, is going more uh, with another fast expansion. That's how he beat Orc Worker twice in a row. Maybe he's going to do the same against Focus. Fast expansion. It's Echo Isles. It makes a lot of sense. If there's any map he's gonna do a fast expansion on, it should be this map. Focus here is uh, mining the gold. Four peons on the gold, five now. <laughs> and he's going Blade Master, of course. So, I assume we're gonna see Archmage. I haven't seen play any other hero. Like, uh, I'm on the King first. We could see it, but. It's very rare against Orc. We do see the Arc Mesh here. And maybe some Footman. There's a Footman. We have some peasants chopping the chopping down the trees. No shop yet. Oh, there's a shop. A shop here on the south. Don't know if that means something. We've seen uh, Fly. Fly has recently, recently been playing a bit more with some more uh, aggressive shop placements. Focus, very defensive, uh, very safe shop. Protected by the burrow. The burrow, by the way, I really like this position here on this burrow. It's open over here. It's open over here. It's uh, it's open over here. Also, thanks for the other host there. I think that's Lucifer. So uh, a blade master, a grunt, a demolisher can walk through here, can walk through here, can walk through here. It's really nice, really nice bureau placement. The blade master go for this ogre. Meanwhile, the archmage creeping over here, killing this uh, kobold. That's a tome of strength. Pretty nice. 
you just uh, double check something in the background while they're creeping. Uh, the Archmage now going for this uh, expansion. Of course, is he going for the expansion again? He's still tier one. He's still building peasants. I think this is going to be expansion. It does look like it. The blade, the Archmage summons a water elemental, but the Blade Master on his way. What is he buying? Is he gonna buy something? Maybe more circlets. Maybe there it is. Second circlet. Uh, however, they will be done creeping already. Level two Archmage. The Blade Master here can he kill something. The water elemental gets killed by himself. We have five militia over here. The blade master can kill this one pretty easily. Goes for it. This, this peasant is dead. Goes for the next one. The footman. Our uh, bottle metal is trying to defend the footman. Uh, the peasant. This peasant also dead. Two peasants dead. The current over here is uh, is killing. Oh, peasant went into the gold mine. Two peasants dead. Ninety-eight XP. Get gets another one. No, no. Yes, there it is. Third peasant, 123 XP. That's uh, three peasants and the ogre. Oh, there are... No, he has plenty of mana for a windwalk. He shouldn't be uh, dying here. He does have a speech call if he... Uh, as well. He was really uh, in a lot of danger, but... Windwalk saves him. He buy... He's gonna buy boots. There's the boots. There's another grunt. Archmage is in a little bit of danger here, but... Uh, if he attacks right now, his healing self is gonna be cancelled. He does go for it. Oh, oh, beautiful wind walk timing there. And he also bought the dust, by the way. So the dust couldn't be bought by the Archmage. I'm not sure why he didn't sell it. I mean, I guess he was just in a hurry. Didn't have the time to sell it. Blade Master's taking a lot of damage again. But he has one more wind walk. I don't think he can kill the Archmage. I don't think so. But maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Depending. Oh, the, but this grunt coming in. Oh, okay. I guess he can. Well, force a TP is the best he can do here. There's a TP. But the expansion is going up here. The Archmage. There's no shop though. He needs to buy a Forest Soul Shadow Priest. However, there's no... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dark Ranger. This I haven't seen this in a long time. Dark Ranger second here against this uh, early expansion. I don't think I've seen it once this year. Kills that footman. Oh, didn't get the skeleton. Didn't get the skeleton. The Blade Master very low on hit points. He has more healing solves. At least two more. The Archmage here. Wait, where's the Archmage? Archmage here. Maybe buy some boots. There it is. Tower going up. Uh, this peasant here. Oh, this peasant will turn into a skeleton. Here comes the Blade Master as well. The Archmage. Bit risky here, but the Blade Master doesn't have mana. If he. Uh, if he clicked the Blade Master recently, he knows there's gonna be matter for one more Windwalk soon, and there it is. Uh, we have one skeleton here. The tower, man, the tower is still not up. The footman is fighting against the Dark Ranger. Here come the militia as well. Cancels the healing self. And we have uh, two skeletons now. Two skeletons. It's so important here for Blade to not lose any units. Because any unit he loses becomes an extra unit here for uh, focus. This uh, this footman is dead. It's a skeleton. But the tower now is up. He can t far target the skeletons. Oh, the blade master running for his life. But there's no hex. There's no ensnare. There's nothing. By the way, let's look just uh, just for a moment here in the base. We have to ensnare double double uh, bestiary. Very focus esque play here. Does kill the the peasant. Uh, but the skeletons are all gone. It's just the heroes now. And oh, the, the blade master is level two, and he's uh, he's being focused though. Uh, he has a second tower up. He's not upgrading it. This peasant here being no goes for these peasants. These peasants are pretty low. This peasant no skeleton. Dark Ranger losing her mana to the tower. The blade master fighting against the footman. What do we have here? He's going to tier two. Did he? Uh, where's the archmage? Oh, here he is. Archmage, uh, can he kill the Archmage? Does he have a stare? Yes, we have a stare. The Archmage is dead. And Dark Ranger is level 2. But can he still defend here, maybe, without our Dark Ranger even? Maybe. Does he not have a Lumber Mill? Oh, he doesn't have a Lumber Mill. So he was waiting for the Lumber Mill to get the Scout Tower, the Guard Tower, I mean. Didn't want a second uh, Arcane Tower. Uh, he can upgrade it right now. He doesn't... He has the money. To get it, but Mash Raiders will be incoming soon. Does he have pillage? Not yet. The Blade Master does take like no damage from this Arcane Tower. 
Is he getting pillaged? No. He should be getting pillaged, at, or is it? Yeah, he doesn't have it. He should be getting pillaged. This tower is slowly going down. This peasant here, 29 hit points. He could easily kill the the Dark Ranger. Sure, he doesn't get a skeleton because he has no mana. But uh, killing the peasant would have meant that tower would have gone down a lot faster. This raider going for this town hall. This doesn't look very good here for uh, Blade. I'm not sure if he can pull this back somehow. Three raiders up. Is he gunning? Anything else? No spear lodge just yet. Doesn't matter really. I don't think uh, he can lose the game at this point. No healing solves though. This peasant does go down. Level 3 Blade Master. Critical strikes. Kills another peasant. Everything is dead here. Well, here come the militia. Militia, can they uh, kill the Blade Master? Nope. Blade Ma Master with boots can always be micro'd here. It's, uh, it's another infinite micro situation there. There's nothing to micro here for a human. Well, the Blade Master with the Raiders. Oh, the Arc Mage! No, 57 hit points is still enough. He went down to 40. Did like minimum damage, I think, like 26 damage. He's surrounded, Archmage surrounded by skeletons, by raiders, by grunts, by water elementals, his own water elemental in fact. Uh, he does kill one raider maybe, this raider, he, does he get it? He gets uh, the raider and GG's out. Third rock. Uh, against Org Worker, we saw uh, we saw Blade even fast expand, try to fast expand on Third rock. Let's see if he's gonna do that again. But last game against Focus, he lost fast expanding on, uh, on that map, on Echo Isles. Let's see what he does this game. I assume... What do I assume? Is he gonna try it again? I have no idea. Focus gonna go Dark Ranger again. If he does it, if he does another expansion, just go Dark Ranger again. It worked last time, it will work again. Dark Mage is coming up. Peasants are repairing. Look at this barracks. The barracks is almost done. He will build a footman. There it is. A footman. Archmage. Footman. Great. Over here we have a blade master. And a grunt. And a shop. So what does this shop mean? Is it going to creep this one? Go home, heal, and then go out and play? Or is he going to creep this one? Go home, buy some item, and go out to play? I have no idea. We'll see. Archmage is probably going to creep over here. Or over here, maybe? <laughs> we have a footman scouting over here. Here comes the Archmage with the footman. And the militia. That means he's definitely walking towards this creep camp. The Blade Master, what is he walking towards? Grunt is moving this way, scouting of course, he still hasn't scouted anything. Gonna sell his TP, buy a circlet, kill the ogre. There it is. Meanwhile the Archmage creeping over here. He will get the circlet. Oh and can he get some attacks in on that uh, Blade Master? Maybe even steal the item if he moves fast! Run Archmage! Can you kill the... <laughs> can you kill it? Okay, let's see the Archmage. The Blade Master got the XP. Blade, Archmage got the ward. And the Blade Master got the Ring of Protection. So, uh, yeah, Blade did get one of the items. The ward, the Watcher ward. Not a bad item when it's like in between them, uh, in the, between the bases. That vision is pretty nice. Uh, the plus three protection ring, of course, not very uh, good item. Uh, boots of speed would have been nice. This, blade, this Archmage would have to hide in the base for a while. Um, Claws of Attack plus 9 would have been nice. But Ring of Protection plus 3, not so nice. We have a uh, Water Metal taking the Grunt, Archmage uh, hugging the Tavern. He is attacking this game, no fast expansion for Blade. Footman here killing the Turtle. Mantle of Intelligence, that's pretty good there for the Archmage. Unless Blade Master can get it. Blade Master is out of mana by the way. Out of hit points, out of mana. He needs to go home and buy some items, but he doesn't want to let up any pressure. 
Doesn't wanna let Blade creep for free. But Blade is gonna creep anyway. Uh, Arcane Vault, he could cancel it. Not with just a gun though. The Blade Master is going home. He's gonna buy some items. And I th I'm not sure if he saw that. The Sentry Ward has uh, vision. Yeah, over this entire area apparently. So he did see the Blade Master there. Arcmage got uh, slippers. Okay, did cancel it with just one grunt, and now he's rebuilding it in the back here. Slippers is uh, not that great for the Archmage. It's great for the Blade Master. Maybe he can trade it for the circlet. So again, this burrow very nice placed. Uh, the uh, grunts, the Blade Master, the demolishers can walk over here. They can walk over here. They can walk over here. They can walk over here. Uh, is there a grunt over here? There's two grunts. Uh, what item did he get? Claws of haste. Not bad, I guess. Not bad. Better than the ring of protection. Not that great either. He only has plus five damage, so not that much damage. Gonna buy something, maybe ring of regeneration. But here comes Blade Master. Does he have boots? No boots. Uh, Archmage, by the way, is full on items. I was even planning to buy the ring. Uh, buy this. Oh, it's close speed. Archmage has to TP. Won't be safe back in the, his base though, but just use the TP. He sells his slippers. Come on, sell. No, don't sell the slippers. Okay, don't sell your slippers. Give it to the Mount King. Akinos. We have Akinos, the Blade Master. Loves uh, Caesar salads. A player's forces are under attack. Not agree. And olives, of course. Olives. Akinos loves his olives. Getting these uh, these units, but oh, a ton of XP. That's so good. Love to Akinos. Of course, Blade knows exactly what's going on, so he knows he's safe to creep. I don't know. Did creep him? Maybe. Maybe. Or he's gonna go for creep jack. Or is he going for... What's he going for? Sure. There's a water elemental. A player's forces are under attack. High foot man. Two more militia. Mount King. He's out. On the other hand we have... Uh, raiders. Spirit walkers. 50 supply. Great. Akinos is still level 2. Shakazan still level 1. Akinos is not here in Spanish. Okay, that's very uh, very nice name for a Blade Master. I guess it has some meaning. But uh, he's never there unless you know you're about to creep something and he kills your creep and gets the item. This by the way, pretty nice item here for uh focus, but he's taking a lot of damage if uh, if he gets scouted. Oh, here comes the Archmage. The Ogre, of course, will heal some units. Oh, the Archmage, he saw the Raider, so he knows. He's immediately going for it. C can he be in time? The Ogre is still not dead. This Ogre also not dead. The Mountain King is over here. Can he get the Stormbolt off on, on something? Blade, on uh, maybe the Blade Master. Okay, he does get the uh, Warsong Battle Drums. He will maybe lose a uh, Raider here, though. Yeah, the Raider is dead. And also the Ogre. The level 5 Ogre will go to human. So that means that Focus has to heal all his units back up. He has a level 2 uh, Shadow Hunter. Level 1, level 3 Akinos. With, uh, I don't know, skills. I wonder if he picked level 2 Windwalk there. It would make sense usually, but at the moment I think level 2 Critical Strike would be better. Because uh, we see Blade coming for his base. Oh, and we have a Wyvern here. We saw him earlier. He's in the base. He needs to repair this tower. Where's the repair? Okay, he cancels it. And this means that the Wyvern will do so much damage there. The Blade Master here go for this uh, Priest. It's not Michael. There's a Michael, but too late. 153 critical strike. Uh, Scroll of the Beast being used. So all the humans, units do a lot of damage. Second Priest goes down as well. So no more casters. Just Footman. Because what can you do with Footman with Scroll of the Beast? I guess not enough. This uh, Spirit Walker survived there with 8 hit points. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. No, okay, he survives. Shadowhunter is using a Clarity. He needs to cancel it, but he doesn't. These Footman are just not strong enough. This Wyvern is uh kill the sorceress and maybe something else and this doesn't look good for blade at all blade is losing at all fronts he lost the fight over here he lost the fight over here there he has the worst items of course 
Wyvern, man. This tower is going down. Bobby feels happy, 1 1. This tower, can he kill the tower? The Wyvern is almost dead, 78 hit points. He, he can't kill the tower, but he is, uh, he did a lot of damage. A lot of damage. He's now fighting against priests. Wonder if the priest can win this fight. 58 hit points, 46, 36, 25, but this priest is almost dead as well. Oh, it does get that Wyvern. Beautiful Maiko here by these priests. Well, not so much Maiko, but beautiful focus there by the priests. And he's creeping over here. I guess the game is not over yet. Blade at 43, focus at 46. Uh, Blade Master almost level 4, Shadow Hunter is level 3, but no mana items, no mana items at all. He does have the Warding Battle Drums, but what he needs is a mana. He needs mana for the Shadow Hunter. Over here we have uh, lower level heroes, level 3 and half, level 2 and half. Did he just get this item here? I think so, right? It's, uh, it's alright, I guess. Let's see, what did he get? Did he get mana? No, another uh, Scroll of the Beast here. He has two of them. One of the Blade Master sells one of them. No greater mana potions. No greater healing potions. I mean, one Scroll of the Beast is alright, I guess. But against Spellbreakers, how alright is it? Blade Master, go for this level 5 Ogre. Um, I don't know if the Archmage maybe got it. He attacked at exactly the right moment. But I'm not sure if he got it or not. This uh, Footman is that the Archmage is so big here. Bloodless is Archmage. Is much better than normal Archmage. Mount King still level 2, the Archmage still level 3 though, against level 4 and level 3. So, uh, this Spellbreaker is being focused, he goes down pretty fast. Archmage, what are these casters doing? The AFK, the Archmage is bloodlusted. The first Spellbreaker went down, the Raider went down. Now the Blade Master is focusing this Spellbreaker over here. Can he kill it or is he going to die himself? No, he used the Info Potion. Didn't, uh, I don't think he touched the Stormbolt. I mean, in a way he did, but the Stormbolt wasn't in the air. So I uh, don't think that Mountain King uses mana, is what I'm trying to say here. Kill some of these units over here. How much mana left on Shadowhunter? Still 260 mana. Panel of Energy, by the way, is what he got. That's a mana item. That's a very good item. Uh, it doesn't give him much mana right now. Well, it gave him a little bit. It gave him a little bit. He, oh, he did use the Skull of the Beast, by the way. I'm not sure how much longer it lasts. Not that much longer. You can see it's uh, almost gone. It's figuring, and there it's gone. It's gonna. What item did he get over here? Ring of protection. Another bad item. Focus didn't get uh, that lucky with the item. And well, we see Blade. He wants his uh, creep camp. That was focus. Oh, but focus on his heels. Blade is over fifty. Focus still at fifty. How much mana? 700, 325 mana. He's going for the Archmage. The Archmage gives the healing potion. Use it, use it. And now it needs to save him somehow. Does he have Invis? He does have Invis. Uh, Blade Master took some damage as well, but we still have some healing waves, so he shouldn't be in too much danger. Uh, we do have level 2 Stormbolt finally on the level 3 Mountain King. And almost. Oh, maybe he can get a Blade Master here. There's a heal wave though. And p drops the item. Not sure. TP. Okay, gave the TP. If. Uh, wherever TP is here. I mean, the people, the person that does not TP will get the Red Creep Camp, of course. Another Stormbolt. He's just all in on this Blade Master. I don't think he can force a TP. I think he's just going to lose too much here. And it's going to be GG. But there's a. Uh, it's a more healing wave. There's only one more healing wave. He does have the TP. I was wrong. But he did lose a lot. Blade lose, lost so much. He's now to 46 supply. Look at this. We have a Spellbreaker. Another Spellbreaker. I think. Oh, actually. I think he just lost like two Spellbreakers. Which is not that bad, since he will get this, uh, this creep now. And he forced a TP, of course. We have a level 4 Archmage. What item did he get? Oh, Warsong Battle Drums. Both players getting the same item. It's a very good item. It's, uh... But it's very good here for Blade as well. And let's see, he wants more mana on the Shadow Hunter. Should probably be giving this pendant to the blade master and use oh it's good. yeah and use the clarity uh by the way that's a very nice item here boots of cult last now we have plus 15 agility 43 agility uh, 44 agility is a lot he attacks very fast he does put 27 damage thank you man nice match streaming okay i'm glad you uh you like it you like my stream we have uh, archmage creeping over here 
Not a scroll of the beast. This entire match, man. I feel like every every one of these turtles gave a scroll of the beast. We've seen four of them in total. Two for orc, two for human. Uh, what's he buying? Heal scroll. This spellbreaker is going down with 58 supply for blade, 50 for focus. But focus just build an expansion. Uh, level five blade match though. Level three critical strike is gonna be insane. So the hero levels are stronger for focus. He has a smaller army though. The items are better for focus with these items is insane these items as well but blade has a bigger army at the moment he does will cancel this expansion as well so maybe there's still a chance here for uh for blade 11.5 armor where's the blade master yeah 41 percent and is blade gonna tp he doesn't have a tp just gonna walk home. He's gonna lose our Arcane Sanctum. Is there a... Pillage? There's no Pillage. He's getting Pillage right now. Barracks going down. We have a Arcane Tower very far in the back. Of course, because of the Wyvern earlier. Here comes the fight. We have 58 against 50. But here are the Critical Strikes. There, 300 damage Critical Strike. Kills the Spellbreaker. That's an insane amount of damage. And let's see some more crits. Uh, this spell, this, it's all about the Blade Master. Just as long as the Blade Master is fighting, it's going uh, well here for uh, for focus, and he can heal with a lot of mana. And after he's out of mana, he can TP out the Blade Master. 204, 84, 276 on a, like a five hit point uh, unit though, and 204 critical strike. That's pretty low there on the Arc Mage. And 260 on this Modern Mental. Meanwhile, the units are fighting here. Grunts are dying, Spellbreakers are dying, but the Blade Master is killing everything over here. Do we have more Stormwolves? There's a Bash on the on the Grunt. Uh, there's a Stormwolf on the Raider. This Raider is going down. It is 48 against 47. It's still quite equal in supply. But it's 316 Critical Strike there. Now it's fighting a Water Elemental. And there's a TP out. He's out of mana, pretty much. And there's another 308 Critical Strike. And we have another expansion up here for Focus or going up. 45 against 47. But do we have a level 5 Mountain King? No, still far from it. Level 5 Archmage? No. But... Pretty soon, he can creep this, get level 5. It's gonna retrain to Blizzard, maybe, this game. Kodo ate the Spellbreaker, you can see everything. But this also means that he's actually 3 supply uh, lower than he actually is. I mean, it says he's at uh, 48, but he's actually at 45, because he will lose this unit soon. And he's, uh, he's already level 5, he just needs the item. Or wants the item. Talisman of Evasion, not that great of an item. Let's keep it on the Blade Master. Okay, it's some extra hit points on the Blade Master means he can uh, stay in the fight longer. Are there any creeps left on the map? The answer is no, yes. This creep camp is not uh, fully creeped. Uh, the item has been taken, but there's still three creeps left. So there's no reason really for focus to go for it besides to the night to the night from uh, Blade. Blade does have level five Archmage now with invisible water elementals. Level four Mount King. It is 57 against 59. How much mana on the Shadow Hunter though? 466. That's a lot of mana. It's more than the last fight. He can stay in the fight longer, he can use more crits, win more games. He slowed, he storm bolted, and he and he missed somewhere. Oh, of course, on the Blade Master because he has that evasion. Uh, the Kodo drinks the Water Elemental in the back there. This Water Elemental in the front is being killed as well. And all 300 critical strikes somewhere on something. Now he's fighting here against his Spellbreaker. This uh, Sorceress is, could be my code maybe, but... I don't know, this Raider might fall before... The, okay, the Sorcerer survives. 248 critical strike there on the Spellbreaker. And he is dead there in a moment. Yeah, and the Mountain King pretty low on hit points already. He's a uh, chicken now. The chicken, 276. The chicken is going invisible. And Invol, potion just in time. Stormworld, maybe he can get the Blade Master. And uh, if he gets the Blade Master, no! Nine hit points, Invol potion. And that means folks gonna win this game. If he got the Blade Master there, I would have given a chance here. Very small still, but he would have had a chance. Blade would have had... It. Very small. Look at how low these units are all are. Look at them. Like, all of them are like at five hit points. One shockwave, everything would die. There's no shockwave because there's no TC. But even the Shadow Hunter can pick them off one by one. And there it is, GG. 
Play GG's. Best of four is best of five. Best of five between Happy and Focus. Happy from Russia, Focus from Korea. Perfect. You guys can see the screen. Yep. Yeah. Okay, close position on Turtle Rock. Isn't that amazing? That is pretty amazing, isn't it? We have uh, Altar Barracks. Okay, what do we have here for Happy? More important, of course. A late, late Death Knight, early Fiends. It's always folks for Happy. But today it's special. Because today I'm casting it, you know? I, I hardly ever cast Jero Cup, so I don't cast Focus for Happy that often. I just watch those games. But today I'm casting, so that's that's a, maybe a slightly different than what you're used to. Like for us, like what are games we always watch? We always watch, for example, Fly versus Life. That's a game I've seen maybe ten times as often as this matchup. So for me, it's not as boring. For me, this is uh, yeah, pretty uh, exciting. Exciting. Happy versus focus. Why can't I not scroll down? Damn it, Walker Figurina. Scroll down now. A player's yeah. forces are under attack. Okay, the peon here, peon or ass. He sees everything, he knows everything. Where's the Blade Master? Blade Master is almost out. He built a shop over here. Interesting time. And there is the Grunt, there's a the Death Knight. Uh, Mikasa! It's not a Death Knight, it's a Blade Master. Mikasa, the Blade Master, going straight to the Undead base. Can he do some damage here? The Peon going for the Ziggurat, but the Ghoul just uh, killing the Peon. Of course, he waits for the Death Knight to come out so he can get the XP. But there's the Blade Master. The Blade Master going for the Ziggurat, kills the Peon, blocks the Blade Master. Beautiful block there by the Fiend. He used the windwalk and goes for the fiend, but the fiend walks out and now he's going for the ziggurat. Death Knight's almost out. The ziggurat is going to be cancelled for sure here, but the grunt is going to be surrounded. If he moves the acolyte here, it doesn't move the acolyte, doesn't surround the grunt. Instead, he just blocks the grunt, which is fine, which is probably better than what I was suggesting to surround it with the acolyte. That would have been so stupid, but luckily, he focuses not stupid. And with surround here on the blade master, he has to kill the ziggurat or windwalk, of course. He cancels it. And he's going for the Acolyte, there's no reason to really, uh, even if he kills it, I mean, he will have to use his last Windwalk. And where's the Ziggurat? There it is. Two Fiends out though, two Fiends uh, for a Grunt, no, he got a Grunt kill, only two Burrows here for uh, Focus as well. So his tech is quite late, he went Shop, Burrow, Burrow, and t before attack. Of course, not in that order. It was more like burrow, shop, burrow. But uh, anyway, it's looking. Uh... Peru is looking good. So the Death Knight has more XP, of course. He got the XP from the Grunt. He got the, not the XP for the Peon. But getting his cigarette cancelled a few times means his fiends are gonna be later. I still think it was better there for Happy, though. Grunt's 200 gold. It's so expensive. Uses his dust. Where's his tech though? His tech is gonna be so late. Uh, he doesn't have the lumber, of course. He used the the one ghoul that he has. Oh, he has two ghouls now. He used the one ghoul to attack the peon, so uh, and uh, later to kill the grunt. So he lost a lot of lumber. So his tech is gonna be so late. You want the blade master here? Go for the level five. Let's see what item he gets. He got the. He bought the circlet, so he got, sold the other shitty item he got. Ring of protected plus three. It's so horrible items here for uh, focus and. Happy just playing super careful. Giving her. He's, going, he's stacking finally. Is he building more fiends? If he has the lumber, he doesn't have the lumber. He just has eight lumber. Blade Master is uh, done creeping over here. He's going over here. Is he gonna get level three? Yeah. He will get level three. The Death Knight. Still only level two and a half. Claws of Attack is nice for the Lich. Rig of Protection. Not very good of an item. Cloak of Shadows is uh, also not that great. This is another dust, but the Blade Master is still not in the neighborhood. No skeletons. He's out of skeletons. Still far from level 3. The Blade Master. Oh, is Mikasa gonna creep this? This ogre. 
No, Mikasa, of course, she's still healing. She's scouting for undead. Doesn't find him here. Doesn't find him here. Is she going to scout here on the left? Yes, that will give Happy the time to creep this. Oh, in fact, she's not going here. She's uh, looking over here with grunts. Uh, right, he's building more fiends that are in the base. Damn, I'm getting hungry. From all these turtles, they look so delicious. We have a level 3 death knight. The grunt's coming over here, but we have the fiends defending. Two fiends and three ghouls are much stronger than the three grunts. Uh, I don't think he can harass the acolytes. Right, this should be full block, fully blocked. No blade master can go in. And he got another a circlet. The circlet is right. On the fiend, do we have anything over here? We have. Spirit Lodge. Okay, Spirit Lodge. The Shadow Hunter second is normal. BCR is normal. Spirit Lodge. So no tier 3, I guess. And Pillage makes sense, I guess, with close position. He's creeping over here. And the Death Knight. Oh, he sees that this has been crapped by, by Mikasa. Didn't pay attention to that, but that's why uh, Mikasa has a clause of attack plus 9. Happy with five fiends here. He's at Hollis of the Dead. He's going to Black Citadel. The weakness here for focus, because he's uh, not going to tier three, that means he will never get fortified burrows. Means that his base is always vulnerable to uh, to an attack as well. Did get the Skull of the Beast on Mikasa here. Happy in his base. Okay, going for this creep camp over here. This time we'll probably go a bit better than uh, what happened against Blade. The Shadow Hunter is tanking a lot of damage. One coil, and this Shadow Hunter is dead. But um, well, he kills the two berserkers. Now he's going for the ogre. What is Happy doing? He's just sitting at home. He's just afraid to do anything. It's Ogre, uh, look at the Blade Master almost dying. A Cat Cash Pipe of Inside, that's really good, yeah, really good. Especially since he's going Spirit Walkers. He's going Tier 3. This is Spirit Walker, there's a Spirit Walker. So not only does he have a Blade Master and a Shadow Hunter, he also has Spirit Walkers. Um, five fiends here. Blade Master going for the Lich. Lich uses Frost Armor. Killing some more trolls. There's a coil on the Lich. There's a Shoal of the Beast being used here by Orc. Can he get the... By Focus. But can he get the Lich? Do we have more mana for, for Coil? I don't think the Lich will die here. Uh, another Coil should save the Lich in time. There's a Frost Armor on the Fiend. So he doesn't even Coil the Lich. Saves the Fiend. This Fiend over here. Is being attacked. The, of course the... How do you call this? Spirit Link helping Focus so much here. But he's out of mana, he will have mana soon for one more healing wave. That's gonna be the last one. One fiend dying. Two fiend dying. One raider died. So, uh, so far, but that's the last healing wave. We have one more, uh, we have more frost armors. We have no more coils though. These grunts very low hit points. This, this guy has like two hit points. The burrow, fiend burrows. And, uh... What's happening in my chat? Can you guys stop uh, spamming? Especially in caps. Uh, Death Knight TV is out. This fiend is being micro back. And we have uh, a snare. But he does survive here. We have 40 supply against 40. So, uh, in the end, it wasn't that bad there for Happy. I assumed it was going to go even worse. But now he has the orb. Now we will win every fight. There was beautiful timing there by Focus, of course. Fighting just before the orb. Lich didn't have the orb, right? Hi, Raiko. Welcome to the stream. Going for the turtles. 
And uh, what is. Uh, Worker doesn't have level 3 Shadow Hunter yet. Mikasa is level 4. These turtles going down. And of course, this item will go to uh, Focus as well. A There's a Dark Ranger. Attack. Happy at 44. Focus at 40. Happy has a supply advantage. These Spurrows, they. Oh! The Burrows don't have fortified armor yet. Do we have TP? He will get this item. Does he have a speed scroll on the very least? No speed scroll, no TP. Does get endurance aura. That will help him move uh, home faster. Walk. Uh, Okay, lose the peon. When are these burrows going to die? Right now. It's so bad for focus. He does have a level 3 Shadow Hunter now though. But his units are hurt. His burrows are gonna get killed. If Happy can get a nice position in here, he can even fight. But it doesn't look like it. He, well, actually he doesn't have a DP. He will have to position his units here. Okay, he prepares for uh, retreat here. This uh, this fiend gets a nice coil. Blade Master. Mikasa is pretty strong. The aura, however, is not bene benefiting like most of the units. The endurance aura. Oh, the god, the ate a fiend. One grunt died. The second grunt is also dead. We have a destroyer as well. Dispelling, of course, the spirit link. This raider uh, does maybe survive the blade master going for the fiend. The fiend went underground. This statue is getting killed. It's dead. And well, he's going for the blade master. Blade master does have the info. Use the info. This raider is uh, five hit points. There it goes. The fiend gets a coil. And what else is going to die here? The Spirit Walker gets a healing wave. That's uh, He still has one more healing wave. Plus plenty of mana, of course, next to the shop. Buys a mana potion. This Raider being focused. The Kodo is still standing over there. And what's the Blade Master going for? He goes for the Fiend. We have plenty more coils, by the way. The Lich has no more mana, though. The statue is... Uh, we have one statue. There goes the Fiend and the Raider. The Blade Master being focused. He coils the, the Destroyer. There he uses the mana potion. Blade Master gets another healing wave. The destroyer does go down. It's just heroes against heroes, but and that heroes are stronger. This uh, headhunter is going down. The Kodo. If he can kill the Kodo, that's going to be such a big deal. He will get the fiend. He will uh, the aura will be gone. Okay, but the Blade Master, pretty long hit points, gets another healing wave. Not enough. Koyo might kill the Blade Master. He buys a healing potion though to save himself. Uh, so he doesn't coil the Blade Master. He saw that the uh, health potion, of course. Instead, he coils the Lich. Uh, and what else is going to die here? He's, he un, he uh, dispels the Vower's Spirit Link, giving uh, Orp here on the on the Destroyer. Some extra damage to Shadow Hunter. Use another Mana Potion, another Heal Wave. It's 42 against 26, not looking good here for Focus. Uh, there's another Coil on the Lich, the Blade Master is slowly dying. There was a silence on the, the whatever hero, the Shadow Hunter. But the Lich is also uh, about to die. Do we have Coil? Do we have Coil? Where is the Death Knight? Death Knight doesn't have enough for Coil. If he can kill the Lich here, he will stay in the game. I think all the Lich is definitely going to die here. And, uh... Oh, happy now to do 34 supply. He cannot fight here without the Lich. He's gonna lose the Destroyer. Um, he's gonna buy the Lich back at the Tavern. And that's what happens because uh, when you fight next to the shop, the Blade Master level 5. Uh, what I see is that with your viewers is improving also your streaming skills. You are more relaxed and more fun like in the beginning Keep it up and have fun while streaming Have fun too Okay, thanks Raiko are, <laughs> are you guys spamming the same shit? No, Raiko said it first, okay We have some more creeping going on here. The Blade Master killing this turtle. Uh, getting level 4 Shadow Hunter. What item did he get? Potion of Greater Healing. Pretty useful. We have here we have uh, Death Knight level 4. Lich level 2. Almost level 3. And uh, Dark Ranger level 2. Oh, expansion went up. But I wasn't uh, paying attention there for a second. He, of course, he got a pocket factory. Pocket uh, expansion. Mini, tiny, great hall thing. This is almost level 3 though. Happy Sauce is Fly Advantage. Is he just building more ghouls? He's building more ghouls. Do they have Frenzy? Doesn't look like it, do they? does it? They don't have Frenzy, I think. 
He should get frenzy if he's playing with ghouls. Look how slow they are. But I don't think they have uh, average movement speed, right? If they have frenzy. There it is, ghoul frenzy. We'll creep this creep camp over here. And what item did Focus get over there? He got a uh, Lion Horn of Stormwind. Not the best item. Blade Master plus 23 damage with the Kodo, of course. He oh, he still has the level 1 Kodo aura. Are you kidding me? What? What? Look at this. Plus 2 damage. Never got the Kodo aura upgrade. He's a tier 3. Does he not have the lumber? Oh, he doesn't have the lumber. Focus only has 65 lumber. Has two peasants uh, mining the lumber there. Four of them over here, or five? Five, yeah, five. Okay, do we have a fight? 54 against 48. Focus does have a slight supply advantage. He has a level five blade master, level four shadow hunter. Over here we have a level four death knight, level three lich, and level Almost level 3 uh, Dark Ranger. Finds his expansion. Just gonna creep a bit more. He went over 50. A player's forces are under attack. And we'll get level 3 Dark Ranger. He's gonna pick level 2 Silence or level 2 Skeletons. Oh, Tom of XP and the Blade Master picks it up. And uh, I'm not sure if he got the last one. Of course, he doesn't get the XP, but he could deny uh, deny the XP there. Gets a scroll of healing. Uh, where's the shop? Okay, I was just wondering where the shop was near his expansion. Here it is. It's actually pretty close to this shop, but it makes a difference. Is he, does he have mana? Oh, he does have mana on his destroyers. Full mana. He's gonna morph one more. Yeah, there it is. And it is uh, 59 against 67, but the destroyer is doing so much damage at the start of the fight. Also, the, the ghouls will kill the raiders so fast. The blade master going for the statue in the back. Look how fast these raiders die against the ghouls, against the destroyers. Even though a wyvern is dying fast. This uh, destroyer gets a nice coil. Uh, this wyvern is still alive actually, he goes down now. What's the lich attacking? He's attacking the ground units. Anything the lich attacks is dying pretty fast. Blade Master now killing the statue. Where is, uh, well the Shadow Hunters over here. Uh, the orc army just, but they went down so fast. Oh, well, use a great Hindu potion. And he still has the info potion as well, he uses that as well. And, uh, well the Burrow defending. The Burrow and the heroes and the Kodo, that's all that he has left, but what about Happy, he has ghouls, his heroes, and his uh, destroyers. Not that much either. He has two more skeletons walking in. The Kodo went down, that means uh, minus 10% damage on the orc army. This destroyer gets a coil. This one is very low on hit points as well. But uh, the wyvern is going down so fast. And this raider, the undead army, uh, the undead heroes, just too strong. He's not even level 5 yet. He's very close to level 5. Let's very close to level 4, by the way, which will give him uh, the ability to eat his skeletons. He got level 2 skeletons. The shop, he's going for the shop. The Shadow Hunter is getting a clarity. He's almost level five. Level five Shadow Hunter could still win the game here for uh, focus. With some uh, lucky critical strikes there and healing wave. Uh, I mean, the expansion is not down yet, so focus still in uh, still has a chance here. He, all he needs to do is defend it. Uh, the burrow got the down for the well. Burrow. Does the burrow go down? Burrow does not go down. The lich is being focused. Where's the coil? There's the coil. The shadow hunter gets Michael out as well. We have uh, a nice healing wave there. Healing so much damage there. Uh, Blade Master going for the destroyers. Destroyers at 37. Now it's just heroes left for happy and one ghoul and a lich. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? Blade Storm. That's a Blade Storm. Uh, oh, and then we have this. This is a. Uh, a fictitious war potion, also known as uh, alchemist. He used the info potion there on Dark Ranger. If you can get the Dar the Shadow Hunter, we have a pretty good chance here still for for, for uh, Happy. Uh, where do we have a coil or anything? No, it doesn't even need it. And there's level five on the and the, the, this alchemist is dead as well. Uh, but if you can kill the Death Knight, he has a TP. He might need that TP because a crit would have killed him there. Oh, he gave him an info potion. 
Can he get the Blade Mask? Blade Mask has a healing potion. But the Death Knight, he's in danger. After his Info Potion is gone. Oh, does he see the Blade Master? Oh, he's dusted. He does see the Blade Master. And oh, there's a Shadow Hunter back. Do we have mana? We do have mana for a coil and a Nova. What's he gonna kill? The Blade Master? Blade Master in danger. He does have a healing potion though. Shadow Hunter has no mana, of course, because he just came back from the tavern. What are these units uh, going for? We have a statue. The expansion, of course, still up. So in the end, well, there he eats the spirit link. Uh, coil, Nova, everything on the Blade Master. Shadow Hunter still doesn't have mana, so the Blade Master has to run 180 hit points. He does get the statue, but he's gonna lose uh, this guy. Now he's gonna kill some peons. The Blade Master, he knows he's very low on hit points. It's gonna be hard to defend. He has one uh, one healing thing now, one healing wave. This Burrow has been defending this expansion. This Burrow, oh, he kills a uh, cool uh, ghoul there. This Burrow is a defense line here for focus. It might have won him the game here if he wins this game. I don't think he would have won that without that Burrow. But now we have to try Hero again. He's going for the statue, goes down pretty fast, but the Alchemist is the same story here. The Blade Man, uh, Death Knight being focused, but he eats a unit. He only has level 1, 2 coil, I guess. Only level 2 coil because he has Death back. And he's killing units here. The Destroyer is still in the air with... Uh, oh, maybe Happy... Uh, Happy's doing pretty well. <laughs> uh, now he can actually start killing these peons. There's no more Burrow. So misclick, DM was killing the Alchemist. Did you notice that? I did not notice that. There's too much things on the screen. Uh, sometimes I miss things. We have a raid. Oh, the, the Shadow Hunter dead. I think now that Effie is winning this game. Another raider is that the Blade Master did kill that statue. And now these peons are just gonna turn into skeletons, into mana for the uh, Lich. And there it is, GG. This is no longer a channel for hipsters. Uh, what is this? Positioning Altar over here, Barracks over here, Bureau here. Where's the shop gonna be? Here? Taco, I remember when you were a 20 viewer streamer, you were so cute. <laughs> I'm uh, no longer cute. All the viewers came to see you playing snakes. Snakes! I know, I know. That's what they all come for. It's a best of five. Blade Masters uh, halfway out. What do we have here over here? We have a Death Knight as expected. Graveyard coming up. Pools. Light. Okay. Is he building a second burrow? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. Just uh, go for a fast tech. Here we see the Death Knight. He's gonna buy some skeletons. He's gonna creep by himself. Does look like it. Maybe this creep camp. Blade Master goes out to play. He's gonna go and sell his TP, buy a circlet, maybe get the, t get the tome, and maybe come back, creep something over here. Have a grunt. His uh, voodoo launch. Don't like his timing too much of this voodoo launch. Because it will take some time before it goes home and buy items. This voodoo launch could could have been built way later. And it's not like you have to be afraid of the undead coming into your base and cancelling it. That's never gonna happen. Blade Master killing this level 3 here. Death Knight doing the same over here. Okay, he didn't go for this one. He went for this one. Makes sense. Makes sense. He killed the, sh he killed the sheep. I don't think if he used skeletons from the sheep, the sheep body wouldn't be there anymore. So it's not, uh, he killed the sheep but didn't get uh, use the skeletons from the sheep. He's killing this level 5. The uh, Blade Master killing this level 5 over here. Great. Let's see what items they get. Claws of Attack is decent. The Death Knight got the Claws of Attack as well. That's, that's good. That's good. On the Death Knight, I definitely think it's the best item for the list later. Uh, on the Blade Master, I'd rather have another Circlet. Oh, the Blade Master, didn't he just get level 2? 
Did they kill the skeleton? I think the grunt might have killed the skeleton there, given the death knight, the blade master level two. The death knight, by the way, if he kills his level one, he will be level two. But if the grunt can get it, there it is, level two. Duke Dragmore. By the way, the blade master is Samuro. The uh, burrows are up. He's getting another grunt. Great. And he kills his uh, last null with the skeletons. He finds the acolyte. Saves the acolyte here with the death knight. Oh, he uses a uh, windwalk. And the acolyte tries to kill himself. And it, he's successful. Of course, acolytes are successful in killing themselves. That's like the specialty, right? I mean, they don't have a sacrificial pit for no reason. The only one that can use the sacrificial pit. Kind of weird, right? You you think ghouls should be able to uh, use the sacrificial pit as well and turn into like ghoul shades or something? Invisible uh, ghouls. Pit over here. See what I oh we have a skeleton. Look <laughs> at the skeleton hiding here in the trees. <laughs> and the skeleton does go down. He wants a circlet. He needs a circlet. Circlet would be nice. Ring of protection would be so bad. He gets a gloss of haste. Somewhere in between. Uh, I mean it adds the most DPS to his Blade Master. That's not really what you need. Uh, Death Knight by the way is level two and a half. So as a Blade Master. We'll kill this level three and may oh or maybe the Blade Master will get it. Oh, shit, I didn't I think the Blade Master got it. Yeah, the Blade Master got it. And the skeleton as well. Can he get the skeleton? Skeleton is trying to kill himself as well. Is he a successful to act like? No! As you can see, skeletons suck at killing themselves. That skeleton was not able to kill himself. And the Blade Master killed him instead. And he now he's going for the tome here. Uh, do we have a lich? Almost. Do we have uh, anything over here? Okay. Shadow Hunter, Berserker Strength, Bestiary, Fortress. So this time no Spirit Walkers. He did get a tome. I don't know what tome he got. He's level 3 though. Level 3. We have two claws though on the Death Knight. That's gonna be so nice for the Lich. Slaughterhouse is coming up. Eight Masters walking along. He's level 2 Windwalk here. Where's that uh, War Mill? Needs to build a War Mill. No War Mill. Just yet. Oh, and there it is, Fiend. Get false armor, gets a coil. Oh, but that's the last coil. The Death Knight's out of mana. This Fiend is so dead. He's microing the other Fiends back, but the Blade Master, he's hungry. He's going for the Raccoon. Uh, the Lich, I mean. No more coils. There's a false armor. Lich is so dead. That's Lich. And this Seal now is going for the Seal. Can he get the Seal? Use the Speed Scroll. Um, speed Scroll doesn't last for much longer anymore, but this Seal is dead. I guess uh, Happy should have TP'd out there instead of trying to save his units one by one. This uh, this ghoul uh, maybe can kill this grunt though. Revenge grunt. No, cannot get the revenge grunt, I think. I mean, he doesn't have the coil. And uh, now he's a shellfish. All the skeletons, the grunt not being micro'd perfectly, but now he's being micro'd out. Beautiful. The skeletons just hunting down this grunt. What do we have here? We have a raider. Another raider and still no war mill. And he's gonna creep over here. Of course the uh the death knight doesn't wanna allow that. Lich is back of course. No orb yet, are you kidding me? No orb. So this goes to the not a good item though. Belt of giant strength. For the blade master oh he's not in tier three yet he's almost in tier three without the orb but great he needs the orb he needs to go back and buy the orb that's what he's doing meanwhile we see uh focus here buying some items some healing solves did he buy all of them? No, he bought one set, used it, bought a second one. Gonna buy more? Does it... Shadow Hunter could use some mana. Depends. If he's planning to creep uh, for a while, 
And still you buy demand on the clarity. So nice. The uh, happy people on this map. Of course, this is a map where uh, undead can come back. Because there's so many creeps. Uh, they can get strong heroes. Yeah, look at the Lich, by the way. Plus 17 damage. Now with the orb, the Lich is, is dangerous. But losing those, uh, losing that Lich and like two fiends earlier was so bad. The playmaster is walking with the undead army. <laughs> he doesn't realize he's not a undead unit. He goes for the statue. Gets coiled. Was uh, dusted. So, oh, he's in trouble, actually. Oh, no, we don't. We don't have enough mana here on the Lich for a first Nova. Else he would have been dead. It was a nice day. I had to check out. Got to go now. <laughs> Cute smiley face. See you. Okay, see you later, Linga. See you tomorrow or next time. Choco, Choco, no sunflower around you. Bad Dutch. Is sunflower a Dutch flower? I don't think so. We don't have sunflowers in Holland. We have uh, tulips. Tips. Let me turn on the light here for a second because it's getting dark. There. Uh, what item did he get here? He got Catgar's gem. It's a pretty decent item. What do we have over here? Evasion is not bad. And the Blade Master, he has some nice items as well. He needs more circlets. He wanted some more circlets. That would, would have been better. Uh, he wants at least one mana item here on the Shadow Hunter. Maybe he can get one over here, like a Sobe Mask or a Mantle of Intelligence plus six. Would be uh, nice. Blade Master will find the Happy there in a moment. Rune Bracers, that's very nice as well, of course. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Oh, here comes the Blade Master. Do we have. Does he know? How does he know? Does he have a shade? I don't see a shade. It's just. Wait, what? Use the info potion. Blade Master, I think he got the kill and the item. But he had to use the info potion. Uh, oh, and he gets frost over and then coiled. Is he going to die? He might. Not a coil, but uh, there, f there's a shadow hunter. Still level one healing though. Is that going to be enough? There's a coil. It is going to be enough. Oh, this she <laughs> died. How did he see him though? By the way, you, anyone know this? Oh, he does have a shade here. Gonna get these uh, these sheep, uh, these creeps. Blade Master has to heal up anyway, so focus uh, cannot engage there, of course, with a very low hit point. Uh, Blade Master instead it goes for this item. Being a protection plus four, not that great. I mean, not that bad either, but I don't know. I'd, I'd like to uh, take some time someday to compare this to the Catcar's Gem of Health. Like, plus four armor. It's helps a lot against that uh, lich of course that reduces your armor by five and uh, getting your tc tanky you do want the tanky items like tanky items are more important on tc in this matchup than uh health I uh, than no, than uh, mana items or damage items shadow hunter wants uh mana items but at least one he needs at least one usually like if you get more than one mana item you have too much mana to all use it in one fight anyway it's still good of course because you have to buy less clarities. Hmm, not that great. By the way, don't we see Berserkers? We do see an expansion coming up. I wish... I wish you find one next month. You are too handsome not to have. Uh, the thing is, uh, I just moved back to the Netherlands like two months ago. And I haven't talked to a girl yet since I came back. I've just been focusing on streaming. And I kind of want to move out of the Netherlands. Um, as soon as I can. I kind of don't want to get a girlfriend over here. I have a code over here. Uh, by the way, happy crap this in the meantime. I, I, I'm sure you guys saw it with the uh, Zeppelin. Where are you planning to move to? Well, there's a few places I want to check out. I just uh, want to live there a few months and then I want to decide where I want to move. Some of these places are uh, 
East, East Europe, uh, Middle and South America. Right. The East Europe, I think mostly of uh, Romania and maybe some of the surrounding countries. Middle South America. I'm, oh, he possesses this ogre. I'm thinking of uh, Colombia and like uh, uh, Mexico. And just for the fun of it, I want to check out Thailand as well. If I don't like any of those, I will probably move back to Japan where I just lived for like five years. I definitely love Japan a lot. Move to the United States and marry Jen. United States... Uh, I mean, uh, I, for a while I was thinking of also going to California. Right, California? But I I'm, don't have too much hopes anymore for California. It's... Uh, I haven't heard a lot of good things about it. Or about America in general. But maybe if I have time, I'll check it out as well. This, uh, I, I mean, I've, I've lived in Hawaii for a while. Anyway, let me uh, focus back to this game. Bulgaria is great. Cheap and beautiful girls. Oh, look at this. Three sappers. He's gonna ca kill this uh, expansion. Expansion is down. And do we see TP home? What items did he get, by the way? He got a restoration scroll. And he got another restoration scroll. He got the best item twice. Interesting. We have uh, 50 supply against 71 though. Focus uh, easily has a much stronger army, but I don't think he can fight over here in the or in that base, of course. He has a Bloodless Banshee with, with that Ogre, of course, but Bloodless. He has Master Banshees and... Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, Zeppelin is gonna be found here. He was trying to get this expansion over here, I think. With the Zeppelin with the Acolyte. He loses the, the Zeppelin and now Focus also realizes, okay, he was trying to go for an expansion. He also, uh, I'm, I'm sure he already saw the items. So he knew that the islands were uh, were crept already. Level 4, Lich, level 4, Death Knight. No third hero, right? For Happy. Yeah, one. No, no third hero. Uh, for Orc, we have uh, four, four, three, almost four. So more XP here for uh, for focus. That's of course because Happy was spending a lot of time as well going for these islands. All right, they're all the way across the map. For Orc, uh, well, focus was able to creep a bit more efficiently. He does have, by the way, the Scourge Bone Chimes is. Against the death is not that great, because if you look at this army of Orc, he doesn't have that many melee units. It's much just a Blade Master and the TC. Uh, the Grunts, they die so fast anyway, and the Raiders, they don't do any damage anyway. Besides, he has zero attack upgrades and two armor upgrades. So although it's uh, still a very good item, not the, uh, he rather wanted the mana item, which we still didn't have on this uh, Shadowhunter. He crept the entire map almost, not a single mana item. But overall, his items aren't bad, besides that fact. Happy's just playing as happy, you know, just... Hiding in his base until he gets a perfect army. From where you get the money to go around the world and check some places. Uh, Nihongo Deki... Nihongo... There goes Um... I, I did before, back then I had an online business. Uh, but besides, it's not very expensive to travel to those places I just mentioned. It's actually cheaper to travel. You know, this some people don't understand this, but it's cheaper to travel in a cheap place than it is to live in the Netherlands, right? If just just the rent and the food and everything is so much more expensive here, that uh, airplane ticket is uh, nothing. Or, uh, I can live for just a few hundred dollars a month. Well, I could live in, in those countries, not in the Netherlands. Black Master going for the Banshee. There's a beautiful stomp. Two fiends here and a Banshee are stunned. 
Uh, one more Banshee is dying. Do we have any possess here? If he can get the Kodo, it gets a Raider, but beautiful storm, so he doesn't get the Raider. The, the, how's it called? Ogre Magi uses, oh, Scroll for Restoration used another beautiful storm. Storm is so nice. The Kodo is just going to die here, and it's going to save his uh, Fiend at 62 against 55. Don't look too great here for focus. I think we still have one more Scroll for Restoration if he wants it. Uh, but actually, let's see. We don't have the third hero for uh, Undead yet, so his heroes are kind of just... So, so, the Death Knight is almost level 5, though. And the Shadowhunter TP's out. A lot more Berserker goes down. And <laughs> we have one Raider, by the way. We have one Raider. This expansion, by the way, is back up. And this expansion is going up as well. Where are you living? Right now, I'm living with my uh, mom in, in Holland. In the Netherlands. And I don't pay anything at the moment. But I've been uh, I've been back in the Netherlands for about two months. Before that, I was uh, living in Tokyo. Internet business, aka cam model. Model. I was uh, yeah, I was cam model. I had to keep it secret, but there yeah, you got it. Death Knight is level five. However, we have much more income here for focus, of course, with these two expansions. With this expansion over here, uh, this expansion almost up. Happy does have a bigger supply army right now, though. I don't think there's a good timing here for focus to attack. Why is he attacking right now? Does anyone understand? This is like the the number one timing for him to lose. Against the uh, <laughs> bloodless man, bloodless. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and a banshee possessing a raider. He <laughs> and he snared the blade master. <laughs> That's so uh, interesting. Uh, he can get another ensnare off. There's another stomp. Uh, gets a raider, gets a fiend. Uh, the TC being focused, the Kodo tries to eat something. And uh, there he goes for this uh, Ogre Magi. There's a beautiful stomp hitting a lot of units. The Kodo is down though. There, there goes 20% damage on the entire Orc army. And now it's, uh, this, this Grunt's going down fast. We still have Bloodlust Banshee here in the back. There, the Grunt's dead. He eats his uh, ghoul. The beautiful level 3 Frost Nova. But the Death Knight in trouble. Death Knight does have a DP. And he can kill everything around him with the coils. Uh, the entire focus army is just melting. Do we have more Frost Nova? So we have one more Frost Nova. And forget, don't forget the Skull of Restoration. And the Info Potion there on the list as well. That he could also always give to that uh, Death Knight if he really needs it. Um... 46 against 47 is still quite equal in supply. I'm sure Happy realizes this expansion has been rebuilt, but he doesn't know about this expansion. A player's forces are under attack. Going back home to get some clarities. He has no man on the Shadow Hunter, no man on the TC. A little bit of mana on the Blade Master. They might have seen a secret expansion. Oh, I didn't pay uh, that much exp uh, attention to it. We do have an expansion here for uh, for Happy. This expansion won't go up. Well, it might go up. Uh, it, it is up. Uh, the Great Hall is up, but uh, might not have uh, mining peons there. The Shadow Hunter doesn't have that much mana, but he does have a potion of greater mana. TC doesn't matter for two stops. Kills that first Banshee. Easy peasy. Uh, also the spirit walker dying very fast. The statue... The TC of trying to get a nice storm. The Blade Master. Oh, he's possessing the Grunt. Gets a Grunt and a Raider. Two Raiders and the Grunt. Three units possessed. The Shadow Hunter is being nuked. He will... Will he survive? Where's the Lich? Lich went down. Oh no, Lich is still alive. For a second. Oh, the Shadow Hunter went down. Shadow Hunter is dead. Lich is hiding there, so he cannot be attacked. Like, uh, Focus probably didn't realize the Lich was over there. There he, uh, ate the unit, uh... Uh, the, the heroes are trouble here. They do have one more info potion there on the TC. But uh, the Lich does so much damage. We have also Coil. Level 3 Coil. Can I Coil? Can I kill him? I can't kill him. No, we can't. The Root Bracer is too much. Was it just a level 2 Coil or was it level 3? I'm not sure. Maybe he picked Death Pact again. And the uh, heroes survive. 
Uh, he eats a fiend for Frost Nova, but uh, uses it on the Berserkers. Kills two or three more Berserkers. All these Berserkers are dead. And again, uh, Happy. Well, happy stands supply behind, but he has his heroes. His heroes are so strong. Meanwhile, what is he gonna do? Buy the Shadow Hunter back, of course. TC is level 5, level 3 stomp is gonna be such a big deal. And if he can just get his manas back up and uh, get his Shadow Hunter back up, I definitely don't think Focus. Uh, Focus still has a pretty good chance here. He's ahead in supply, sure he loses his expansion. Sure, Happy has expansion, so it's one expansion against one. But the TC level 5, we have three level 5 heroes here for focus against just two level 5 heroes. Right? If it was like three against three, I would say, yeah, it would be easy game for Happy. But it's only two heroes for Happy. But the Shadow Hunter is not out yet, so if they fight right now, these two heroes can do a lot of damage. He still has a scroll of uh, restoration. Still has a list with plus 17 damage and also a wand of lightning shield. Maybe he's gonna use it. Okay, the TC has mana potion as well. These storms, man, these storms are gonna be so good. He splits the units. And he's going for the list. The list doesn't have the info potion anymore. He gave it to the death knight. And there's a he's killing raiders. The blade master just kills the fiend. Just uh yeah, kills the fiend there. One raider is dead, and one fiend is dead. We also have the Lightning Shield now on the Death Knight. Lich is just killing units. That's another, another coil. This guy is dead. Uh, can he kill this? With maybe... No, he doesn't have any mana. He doesn't want to use the coil, of course. Oh, with the Lightning Shield. Where's the info? How long does Storm last? Forever. Uses the Scroll of the Restoration. Kills that uh, Raider. This Storm man. Do we have more? We have one more Stomp. Should definitely not let this both of his heroes get some. The Blade Master now going for this statue. When's the Shadow Hunter coming back? Almost back. Gets the statue. Once the Shadow Hunter is back, maybe Focus can win the game here. But we do have a TP. So he needs a lucky uh, crits and a hex. Okay, now he used the healing wave. So that means the Shadow Hunter. Okay, he buys healing uh, mana potion. Goes for the hex on the Lich. Gets the coil. He's gonna TP out, I wonder. I mean, Happy shouldn't. Uh, cannot win this fight here. There's a TP. This should be fine. Unless we have like no, two crits. Second attack wasn't even uh, didn't even connect. Ooh. Three level five heroes. Look at this. So much armor. Okay, so he sold most of his items or used them or yeah he sold his rings for protection but well, i don't does he need the money that but okay he does need the money but those rings of protection those saved his uh, tc for so long now maybe the level three stomp will save him level three stomp he's just relying on it and maybe on the talisman maybe didn't realize that uh, happy went for expansion Happy at 36, focus at 41. There's another statue. Does he have enough uh, banshees? He's building more banshees. He has shades. Banshees with the curse. Let's see how much mana on the TC and on the Shadow Hunter. Ooh, quite a lot of mana on the Shadow Hunter. This banshee's dead. TC has uh, enough for like two or three stomps. This Banshee is dead as well. Two Banshees dying immediately. Uh, the Spirit Walker as well. There's a Stomp hitting uh, one Banshee and the heroes. Actually, he had uh, hit everything. Uh, he's being, the Shadow Hunter is being nuked. The Shadow Hunter. Can he sa save himself? He's being attacked by the Lich. The Lich doing so much damage. It gives him the evil Potion. The Death Knight is still alive. Oh, now the Lich is being focused. We have two Raiders, by the way. That's a lot of Raiders. Oh, Dispel! Buy the Spirit Walker on the, on the uh, Frost Armor. Do you have another Stomp? We do have another Stomp available. And the TC was moving into position, but... Uh, beautiful Micro there by Happy. Micro is Death Knight away. We have Abomination here as well. And the Blade Master now going for the Death Knight. Oh, the Death Knight does not have an Info Potion. He eats Abomination. <laughs> Eat that Abomination. So, I think I was right. He only has level 2 uh, Coil. Oh no, he has level 1 and Holy Aura. Maybe he has level 3 Coil then. 
And there, uh, this another bench goes down. This destroyer all oh, survives for now. We have uh, two guns over here. Lich again. Oh, the Lich might die here. No mana for coil. No mana for coil. The Lich is dead, and that's GG. Well, probably GG. There it is, GG. But if you don't like winter, stay away. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't go to Montreal then. No, no winter. I'm already cold right now. I'm I'm wearing like a sweater, which is not mine. Uh, this is my mom's sweater because I don't have any winter clothing. I don't have any winter clothing because I've been avoiding winters for the last five years. Japanese winter is not that cold. But in the Netherlands, it's it's uh, autumn right now or is, is it still summer? I don't know, but it's cold. It's damn cold. Just move to North Korea. The missiles are flying out of there, not in <laughs> for now. Okay, I will consider that. I watched some videos on YouTube that shows the Japanese are racist and don't like much of the foreigners. I mean, you know, it's definitely, uh, I, I don't think they're racist. Uh, I do think they have, uh, I mean, they don't speak English very well. So foreigners are just much more foreign than, for example, uh, country where they speak English much better. They're just a bit, uh, they just don't know how to handle foreigners well, very well. So they don't make friends very easily with foreigners. But you know what, if you, uh, if you can speak Japanese, if you know, if you get, if you adjust a little bit to the Japanese culture, uh, you know, it's, it should be no problem really. No, I don't really feel... Like they're very racist. Of course you meet some racists now and then, but not as much as in uh, other countries that I've been to. Please say something in Japanese. Uh, Great. I haven't spoken Japanese, by the way, in uh, over two months. What do we have? Oh, the Blade Master is out. Okay, so let me uh, focus on this game now. Blade Master is out. What do we have? We have Arashi Cage here. We have two burrows and a Voodoo Launch for focus. And the Blade Master got a nice circlet. That's exactly what he wanted. The circlet is very good here for the Blade Master. Makes him uh, a bit more harder to kill. Also adds a bit more damage. It's just perfect. It's just so nice. Meanwhile, here we had a uh, fast fiends late death knight. He's got to creep this. Uh, kill this ogre. This ogre. Look at this ogre. This ogre is dying slowly. Skeletons. The fiends. Everything is killing this ogre. The death knight coil. There goes the ogre. Ring of protection. Not that great though. That's pretty shitty. The blade master coming up to, to this ogre. This ogre is going to die as well. What I mean is that I watch videos of people working there and share how they treat them. Like work, work, work and no complaints. But that's just... But that's just a Japanese culture. They just work, work, work. Uh, of course, it's gonna be harder for a foreigner. Oh, PP. It's gonna be... Oh! Look at this beautiful pause there. I feel like the foreigners that work in Japan that complain about it... I mean... They're just not very Japanese. They never adapted uh, to the Japanese culture. So they're just trying to bring their own culture into the Japanese uh, company. And uh, things are slightly different, of course, between the Western companies and Japanese companies. But yeah, if you don't, if you can't make any Japanese friends, you're not gonna do well in a Japanese company. You're not gonna uh, climb up the ladder. Your peers are not gonna respect you. You're just gonna be that foreigner. You know, it's the same in uh, in America, really. If you work in a company in America and you don't speak English, or you hardly speak English, you know, are you are you gonna be the new CEO? No. Blade Master is gonna kill this level five. Nice creeping over here. Not the Nihong the. Kaiwa Ninatan. Hazel this. 
Also, weather there, by the way. Tokyo, so one thing I really like about Tokyo weather is that in the winter, it's always sunny. There's no clouds in the sky. It's always sunny. So I, I really don't mind the winters that much. And the blade, what's the Blade Master doing? He does have level 2 Windwalk. So he can't stay around here for a long time. Do we have a Lich yet? No, he's still tier 1. Um, so that means can't creep anything really. Do you creep something with the blade master around? He's he's going for it. I guess hiding in your base. Murlocs is a smart choice because even if the blade master steals something, he steals a level one Murloc. Maybe level three. Okay, he's going for the fiend now. We still have plenty more mana here on this blade master. Oh, the fiend got in there though. Can he just get the fiend? There's more coils. There's one more coil, but it's level one coil. And here come the grunts. The fiend is so dead. Look at this uh, fiend. It's a dead fiend. It's dead. We have boots, by the way. Boots on Blade Master. Did he buy that? Another fiend might die here. No, it will. No, oh, boots of speed. I mean, scroll speed. And the fiend is going to die there. The fiend is running back. Oh, and it does go down. What I? Oh, shit. And the kanji, I'm really bad at reading the kanji. I never, uh... I went to Japanese school for two years. There I had to read kanji, but after, besides that, I never re read anything in Japanese. A player's are under attack. Oh, this guy oh, wasn't surrounded. Can he survive? Well, actually, I tried to read a little bit of manga in Japanese, just to, uh... Improve my reading ability. But, um, yeah, I didn't do that for very long. Lich, the second. Chaco, aren't Japanese girls very close minded regarding outsider men? Well, there's a big difference between inside of Tokyo and outside of Tokyo. Uh, but you are, you are kind of right, but it doesn't matter really. Because I'm not a I'm not a foreign man, you know. I'm a Japanese man. When I'm in Japan. Are under attack. I lived there for uh, five years. So yeah, if you're a tourist, you might uh, if you're a tourist there in Japan, you might feel like that the Japanese girls are don't give you a chance. If you lived there for five years. You know, and you speak to Japanese a little bit. Different. Headhunters creep here in the middle. By the way, he's going spirit walkers. No spirit walkers. He's going for fortress though. So he's killing a skeleton. He kills one skeleton. And Blade Master runs. For his life and I, finally he's gonna finish this murlocs <laughs> after so much time he's finally killing those murlocs now he's going for this uh temple he, he i don't think he can get the cancel here There's no way men are such a nice person to answer 99 percent of our questions that's why i keep going back to your stream really i feel like uh well i, I mean i believe you of course if you say that but uh, i feel like i should be focusing a bit more on the game <laughs> Sure, some people are like, come on, I don't care about this shit. Just focus on the game. Gonna kill this uh, Cobalt. Cobalt Tundra. The Blade Master is still hiding over here. Of course, there's, they're just creeping, so there's not too much to talk about. Oh, can I get this Cobalt? He, uh, he did get it. But there's the dust. At least the level 5 will go to happy here. Meanwhile, the Shadow Hunter. What item? Oh, don't lose any units. He got the Cloak of... Uh, I mean, the Gloss of Haste. And potion of invul. 15 seconds, that's pretty decent. This one went to happy. Planet of energy is also uh, pretty good there on the death knight. Burrow. Banshees. Under. I keep going back for snakey. Snake. Under attack. Do you know judo and can shoot kamehameas? You know, actually, the Dutch 
in in Holland, the Netherlands, uh, judo is more popular than in Japan. And I think the world champion is actually a Dutch person, or it used to be at least, some time ago. Hi to hi to Dano. Hi, hi to Dylan Dylan's on eighty eight. Uh, what's the price pool? I forgot. It was something like forty two euros or something. No, the point is that you're commenting and answering our questions on the same time. You need skills for that, and it looks like you have it. Oh, oh I'm glad. Glad I'm doing a good job. I come to Chaco's stream to pick up chicks, of course. That's why I have no chicks in my stream. It's because Mike picks them all up. Epa. We have four fiends here. We have a level three death knight, level three lich, 49 supply against 49. Uh, expansion, oh, build an expansion, probably a tiny, tiny expansion, tiny great hall. We have a level 2 TC. <laughs> Tackle 400 APM. Well, only uh, it was more like 400 WPM, 400 words per minute. Talking about both Warcraft and my uh, personal life. The TC is gonna get level. No, I don't think he's gonna get level three here. But he's gonna be close. And level three TC, of course, we saw last game. The TC is so good if he gets uh, level three or higher. He's gonna get the third hero this time. Happy, like a pit lord maybe, or a dark ranger maybe. I don't think, uh, I'm not sure which one would be better. This current is healing. DC is just still killing Murdochs. Oh, he will get level three, won't he? Yeah, just barely. I shouldn't have doubted here. I shouldn't have doubted focus. Look at this. He's healing up his grunts, his uh, raiders. He needs more healing salves though. If Happy attacks right now, and he's gonna attack. First he's gonna creep a bit. No third hero for Happy. He's not attacking. Okay, there's a shop here, of course. And we saw earlier that this shop in the first game, in fact, on Turtle Rock, we saw how strong this shop was. <laughs> 8 sex location, 8 p.m. I heard yesterday that you're playing Warcraft 3 again. Is it true? Me? It's not true for me. Has this? Well. I think he definitely has the advantage. Also, oh, he has a Kodo, but no Kodo Aura. Why? Why does he keep not getting the Kodo Aura? I guess because the expansion just costs so much lumber. But this this tower, who cares about the tower? Get the Aura first, then get the tower. Tower is 80 lumber. Could have easily gotten the Kodo Aura. Doesn't get it. Uh, TC gets focused a little bit. Use the Info Potion and a beautiful summon this uh, Fiend. Will survive because the Blade Master is attacking this other fiend. The Death Knight kills that first raider. He's level 4 now. And there goes another fiend. Uh, he did get the Dark Ranger, by the way. Which makes sense because we saw Silence already. The Dark Ranger, uh, the Lich, gets a coil. The TC, very low on health. He did use a Mana Potion. I didn't know he had one, but he's dead. So, what a waste of a Mana Potion. And meanwhile, we see some fiends dying here. And uh, Banshees. We have 49 against 64. The Bla uh, Blade Master in danger. He has the info potion though. Uses it. Dakota ate the fiend. He's in the front here, but he's going for the Shadow Hunter instead. Thinks he's uh, farther behind than I think he is. But okay, he's killing a Wyvern. The three statues here, healing and and yeah, healing. Bla uh, the Blade Master is up for uh, grabs again. He could kill, try to kill it again. Okay, and Blade Master wind walks out his Kodo. Is going to fall here. Meanwhile, these statues are falling. Blade Master kills one over here. This other one is being attacked there by the grunts and the raiders. This wyvern, the Dakota went down. This wyvern's wyvern is going down. Blade Master back in, in the battle misses on the Blade Master, and uh, well, this raider is attacking this by himself, but he's cursed. The grunts here attacking the fiend all the way in the back with the frost armor. And I'm not sure why they're attacking that one. Probably because he uh, missed Michael there. But the fiend just going in to do the ground, of course. That's what fiends do. We have 55 against 48. Oh, the blade master in trouble. Do we have more mana? Yes. No. Yes. Just in time. Seal. Seal death knight. And uh, we still have headhunters, by the way. No berserkers. This headhunter is dead. And we have a level 2 dark, uh, dark ranger. Another raider goes down. 
Happy now 50. Focus at 50. Um, a biggie over there. But I'm not sure if Happy can do much damage here. With the burrow, with the shop. Uh, let's see. Focus, of course. Heating back up. Well, the Blade Master now going for this Fiend. The Fiend is in snare. There's another coil. The Burrow is uh, down to half health. The, oh, the Wyvern is... Is he safe or not? I, I'm not sure. He's just... Uh, just far enough, I guess, for uh, Happy to not consider killing him. Instead, he kills the units here in front. The Grunt goes down. The Blade Master is focused. There's another healing wave. He has one more healing wave available. Uh, but it doesn't matter. There's not enough DPS here for uh, for focus. Blade Master is not strong enough. Maybe he should have bought another item there from the uh, from the marketplace. Oh, TC is back though. TC is back. This, do we have dust? We do have dust here on TC. He can kill this fiend. Kills it. Uh, but it's just not. No, Focus is so far behind. It now it's 14 supply behind. TC is too late. TC doesn't even get a good, nice position. Only stuns the heroes, which is nice. But all the fiends here in the back are still fighting. And this grunt is an easy kill. Okay, the grunt runs. TC doesn't have any stomps left. This is looking very bad here for focus. This position is just too bad for focus. Uh, this town hall creating this uh, these chokes. There goes the TC. And uh, I'm not sure if there's anything focus can do to come back here in this game. This, he kills a fiend. Okay, how much mana is left on the heroes here? So no, no mana for coil. He will, he will have one coil pretty soon. 183 critical strike. The bench gets that one coil. Uh, we we don't have that much mana. Maybe he can do something here with the um, low mana uh, amount for of happy. But no, there it is. GG. Just pretend like it just had a big pizza, a pizza taco flavored pizza with ice cream on it. Uh, of course, not just normal ice cream. It wouldn't taste very good if it was just uh, if it was like strawberry flavored ice cream. It has to be like vegetable flavored ice cream. On top of the pizza, that would have been nice. Let's focus on this, this game. Out of Storms is almost up. This time we see a slow death knight. Slow death knight, fast fiends. Taco flavored pizza. With vegetable ice cream? No, thank you, Chaco. It sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. Altar is almost up here. What do we have here? Blade Master. We do have a Blade Master. He's uh, halfway done. Blade Master. Need you, Blade Master. Keep my vegetables and my ice cream two separate entities. Really, like sometimes I put my uh, vegetables in the fridge, and uh, it's like in the near the near the freezer part. You know, if you have a freezer in, inside of your fridge, then you when you put your vegetables close to the freezer part, sometimes they they freeze, and then you have ice cream, vegetable ice cream. That's how it works. Yeah, the Blade Master is going for this level 5 Ogre. Look at him. Just chopping him up. This uh, this Grunt taking the, tanking the damage from this Ogre over here. And this Ogre is just he's so dead. Look at him. Is that a live Ogre to you? Does he look alive to you? He's so dead. A close pace is pretty good. This ogre now is uh, dead as well. Is the death knight out? The death knight is out. We have uh, one fiend. No, it's the second fiend. Second fiend out. And the skeleton taking a shortcut through the trees here. And now he's gonna kill first a forestall trapper, but he doesn't wanna fight. He wants to trap. He wants to throw a net, but he's dead. Uh, meanwhile, the blade master is creeping over here, killing some gnolls. That's not how ice cream works. <laughs> oh. That's not how it works. We have a level 2 Blade Master now. 
And we have Ring of Protection. What a shitty item here for the Death Knight. And look, the skeleton walking back through the woods. What a shortcut. Baron Morta, by the way. Baron Morta against um, Joshua. Let's see what item he's gonna get over here. Uh, Book of the Dead might be a really nice early game. Book of GG is what they call it. He gets a Wand of the Wind. Uh, still good, still good item. But it's uh, much, it's better much later. I mean, you can use it early game. Maybe if you can uh, use it on the Death Knight to kill a fiend, prevent the coil. Oh! Actually, I think the Death Knight got it, right? Death Knight got the XP, but uh, Blade Master got the item. Second Gloss of Haste. Uh, this grunt, by the way, very low hit points. Hey, Chaco, welcome back. How have you been? Hey, Notron, welcome back. I've been doing great. Amazing, actually. Since we're watching this finals, grunt is getting killed there. Look at all these uh, spiders just biting at his feet, biting his shoes off. But his shoes are still in, uh, intact. Happy's going for this level 6. Meanwhile, the Blade Master is on his way. And uh, the Bestiary is being built. The Shadow Hunter is being summoned. And will he get the item in time? Well, he will get the item here, but there are two guns. And there's a Book of the Dead. That's good. Yeah, that's good because the Orc usually doesn't even go Spirit Walkers. You can use it whenever or wherever you need it. But. And that in the fish place, he did and that as well. Uh, then you get uh, then you get a lich, of course. If you put and that in the fridge, the lich comes out. That's why he has Frost Nova. Happy will sell the book. I mean, Happy sells everything, man. There's a the dust. Blade Master creeping over here. He gets a replenishment potion. Not that great for Orc, but uh, considering the situation he is in. It is pretty good because he can use it right now. He doesn't have to go home, get a healing self, get a clarity. He can go harass right away, but he doesn't realize that Happy is going this way. He hasn't sold anything yet, by the way. He didn't sell the book just yet. He actually he might go to the base right now and use it here in the base. Or is he going to creep first now? He's going to creep. Maybe wait for the Lich. The Lich is uh, two thirds away out. Shadow Hunter creeping as well. Look at this raccoon with the aura. How come the raccoon still has the aura? These guys don't have the aura. Now they have the aura again. Now it's big, much bigger. It's like a mini aura when he was a raccoon. Those from X a book give XP, right? Yes. They give, uh, I think, 12 XP each. Normal skeletons give 12 XP each. I think the book. Same, uh, there's the same skeletons. I'm not sure if the ranged ones also gives 12 XP each. Like the archers, the skeleton archers. I think so though. Maybe they give more, maybe they give like 18. I wouldn't be surprised. I think when you hex the unit, it stops giving the aura. Uh, that's what we just saw, yes, but the animation was still there. That's what I was talking about. The drake is going down, kills the drake. And oh, Flute of Accuracy is not bad. Can he save the ghoul though? Can he save Mr. Ghoul? Mr. Ghoul? No, the, the coil was too late. The ghoul does not get saved. They match. That's two gloss of haste for you. Killing a ghoul before the death knight is there. Waterhouse is coming up. What do we have here? Do we have a uh, Warmill? Warmill is going up. Um. It still gives the aura. It, it didn't look like it. It didn't give the aura buff to the other units. Do claw stack? Yes, they do. I mean, he just hacks this null overseer over here. I just checked on purpose, and these these guys didn't have aura. Let's see if he does it again. Uh, no, this has already been crapped, of course. What's the feeling doing in the base? Oh, wrong base. Which one? 
Which one? This one is chopping the lumber. These are mining the uh, gold. Shadowhunter, is he level 3 yet? It's so all close to level 3. By the way, Sentry Wars very nice. Uh, not as nice as, uh, as on different maps. It was AFK, I guess. In Korea, it's very popular to eat while streaming. You can do it also one day. Uh, yeah, I'm sure people would like to see me eat that pizza with the ice cream. The vegetable uh, ice cream on top of the taco flavored pizza. I don't know how I would make one though. I can make pizza. By the way, we see a Zeppelin here. He's gonna drop. Drake is so dead. Look at him. He's dead. Love for Death Knight. Still has a book of the uh, GG. Here comes the flying uh, thing, but the trees have all been cut, so you can see the incoming. You can see the Zeppelin incoming. Doesn't move, uh, doesn't do anything though. Oh, he's gonna repair his uh, gold mine. There's a DP. There's a false nova. Kills the raider. The thing is webbed. The uh, Zeppelin. The, another acolyte goes down. Blade Master. Do we have a DP here, by the way? I'm sure we do. On the Blade Master. And he cyclones the Death Knight. The Blade Master solo. He loses the Blade Master. He had the DP. Are you kidding me? Well, GG. Nice final game here of the finals.